Let's go. Watch, watch, watch okay. Jadviga be red. Oh my God, Jadviga, Tato confirmed already here in the third series. We looked at the draft <laughs> and we were thinking that based on the draft, maybe it's Tato, but that's just us getting too excited. And uh, in the in the blue, sorry, we have Otto the Great playing as the Tootins, which is interesting because we just watched the hit the video on Otto the Great. Tootins pick here on Hidden Forts, and then up against Otto the Great is Jadviga. It's Tootins Hindustanis. This is a new map where you could chop through to the middle to take advantage of additional resources. And uh, with me is Mem. And Mem, I could not be more excited for this. The Civ matchup and the map is just so perfect to start off the series. Yeah, and honestly, this is kind of, I don't know if you consider this map. Thank you for having me, by the way. And uh, Teutons Hindustanis, is this for you consider a, a, a clown map? Like you can, we can see a lot of monks, a lot of aggression in castles. In feudal looks more unlikely. Because if it's the case, isn't Teutons a, a civilization that can shine a lot in this map? Um, I, I think I think that it can be. You know, the 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 whole vision over the map, what I wanted with the map was to have the option to be clowny and aggressive, or uh the alternative, which is like be more the boom and expansive map. So to answer your question, I think it can be. So I could see Tutans being strong, but Hindustanis could also be really strong if they want to boom. Yeah, but that should be more for the later game. I see that Teutons can be very dangerous if they go for very aggressive gameplay in Castle Age. I don't know what you think. Um, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I think like Teutons, what they might want to do here because they're a bit slower is to work their way through the middle more. Um, and you're gonna, we'll see how they choose to chop. Now, two very distinct differences here. We have Yadviga chopping on the two tiles of trees. And there, Otto the Great is just placed a lumber camp, and he is not worried about chopping through from what I can see because he'd be placing a different lumber camp and he would be micring a bit differently. So I'm thinking Otto the Great will be in no rush to come to the middle here, and yet Viga may be rushing to the middle to try and get the extra rhinos. Okay, well, I, what I like in this map that did remind me, I don't know if you remember the Grand Barra for in Battle of Africa, is I like these rogues that are there because it makes that you cannot really block him from going outside. You know, is if that wasn't there, it can be very snowball-y, as, as Mapu pointed out there. So it's nice. But it still, it makes that you can also ward yourself, but your opponent cannot block you out. So it's open more possibilities, yes. not Tristan. Yeah, yeah. So man, for, in order to get to this point, uh, we had players who lost in the qualifier and myself play dozens of games. And we had a bunch of different versions. And basically, what I fe my feeling on it, after watching all those games, of course, testing it, tweaking it, is that the middle is not always necessary. And I think that you could see, like, so, so imagine in theory, someone takes the middle and someone wants to pressure with the middle and they want to go kill their opponent. If the other person doesn't chop through at all, where are they going to go? It's over. They're, yeah, they're stuck in the middle. They're stuck in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't go anywhere. So, like, in theory, yeah. with all the hunt and the berries on the outside, you could I could see civs like Poles being insane here. Someone like Mr. Yo might pick Poles, just farm on the outside, back away, and then raid on the side. So I'm, I'm like, real excited. It's still super early, but I would expect that this is going to lead to some really fun strategies. Well, Red, uh, it looks like it's going to go up with 18 population, which is what it's doing yeah. right now, very yeah. fast. Would you expect that with Hindustanis because they have cheaper village, so it's it's kind of normal to see this. But Teutons yeah. also could be quick if... Uh, uh, it's going to be a little bit slower. Like, two population in a map like this can be quite a lot, uh, Tristan. Well, think about what he's doing here. He's walling... Otto the Great is walling the outside, and he also didn't place the lumber camp where he would chop immediately through. So this, to me... Feels like Otto is not in a rush to go to the middle here. And he's he's just placed the lumber camp, which is more efficient for his wood. So he may be seeding farms. I could easily see this being just a fast castle from Otto the Great. Okay. For now, we see how he's going outside. Yet we got with the village. He's going to take that rhino. He's taking the rhino. He's not finding yet his opponent. And, well, that's 400 foot more. Uh-oh. He's blocking himself. Yep. Has to be careful. There we go. And Not bad. He's going to be there with the, with the foot. Uh, we have seen also some very quick up time, and depending on what the opponent is doing, well, you don't do a lot of army, go for economy, and I still try to transition for, for Catholics as soon as possible. But for now, we see yep. that Jadwiga is doing already the barracks. So might go for some scouts. Yeah, interesting. Out of the Great is going up. Out of the Great is definitely not fast casting with this. It might be more of a farm play. 
Now look at the scout now from Yadviga. Let's see if Yadviga is going to try anything here. So you cannot wall behind the opponent's wood line because of the rock terrain. But what you can do is you can use your scout and you can use your villager. Oh my god, Yadviga's going to go for... Yadviga's going to try and get two of them here. Both. This is, this is kind of tricky. You have to run back towards the rhino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is this is done a lot for players that play a lot Black Forest, Ganji, Barl. I mean, it can be done for anyone, but they are used to do it all the time, you know. But don't yep, mind yep. this animation attack is faster. You have to be careful here because you might lose it. He's going to save it in the last second, but be careful there. Oh, man, it has yeah, to be one it, Weakening the board, Rhinos with the TC, good timing. Well, good execution. That's really nice stuff from Yadviga there. Okay. He take a lot of food, extra as you can see there. Is he's doing the stable? I think he is. And what is Blue doing? He's doing just the scouting the outside. Just scouting the outside. No rush to go to the middle. I mean, we're seeing scouts oh from Yadviga. You got to be really careful. If you're auto, if you cut through to the middle here, can we see his lumber camp? I actually think he might be intentionally delaying cutting the one tree. So he yeah. doesn't. Yeah, yeah. He's not intentionally chopping through. This is all thought out, Mem. He, if he wanted to be cutting through, he would be doing so, but he's not going to do so right now. Yeah, but Red is coming with a ability forward. I wonder if he's going to make a tower there to be annoying. No, no, he's taking another Rhino. And Red has seen that he's not even close to Kut, so he's not really worried about that. He did the stable, he's yep. doing the market. And Jadwiga is not even doing a single unit, as we were pointed out. He's just going to yep. go directly to Castellage. <laughs> so it's crazy. Just passing, just passing. Okay. Out of the great walks through to the middle and sees that the Rhinos are being brought in. Uh, by the way, Teutons have only won one game. Uh, this is would be on the qualifiers, of course, which was on Quarry. They have not done that well, but yeah, of course, in the main event, we have more bands now, so and it's it's the big boys Tristan. now. <laughs> but the, tell the production, they have to tell us who, who won that win. <laughs> we need to know who <laughs> was that guy, <laughs> you know? We need to guess properly, more information. Tell tell to me, Freezing. Man, this is, no, don't tell this is interesting, like, yeah. If you look at resources collected right now, the player who has not gone for the middle and who has not gone for these rhinos is actually ahead. Now, yeah. that doesn't mean that's going to stay that way, but it's it's so wild to see a completely different thought process from both of them. We don't see that, right? What tends to happen is there's a meta and everyone says, okay, this is the best way to play the game. And everyone just does the same thing. But because there was no public games on this, because it's this new, we're seeing two completely different approaches. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe also think about this, like uh, Blue has got zero idle time with his economy, because if we check the idle yeah. TC, we see now there's no idle TC for both, but idle economy, Red has more idle echo. He's walking with the village a lot more, sending more, you know, but he's still going up to, to castle it quicker than his opponent, yeah. as you can see, so. What is now going to be the following, uh, Tristan? Because Jadwiga is going up 15 minutes in wow, Castle. That's really fast or early time. 16. Very fast. Well, most likely my thinking here is Jadwiga wants a TC towards the middle. Now, I just noticed that Otto the Great is moving those two villagers from tree to tree. So the one tree there, as Mapu is trying to show us, is actually lower on the wood count. And he was on it and he moved away. So he still doesn't want to open that up because he knows that Yadviga can come in and he's adding a barracks now. So it seems like we might see like some pikes from out of the great through the middle as, as an option for him. Pike siege, pike monks, because only pikes, I, I, it has to be followed with something, right? Or not? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. It's, man, also, it's many goal. Small... Man, go man in a bread, uh, Tristan. So it's kind yeah. of heavy on, on goal. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Yeah, pike monk, pike siege is always perfect. I think the worry here is what if the opponent pushes you? What if the opponent attacks? And Yadviga, the player who prioritized the middle mem, is now going to back away a little bit, is planning for the outside. So we had the player who started planning on the with the inside is going to expand to the outside. And the player who's started without the middle is going to go to the middle. It's a complete reverse of how they've started here. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of complicated here for Red because with how you attack here, the Teutons, you don't have knights, you're going to go light care. Well, if you go pikes and he's doing even forging, what do you do? Cap arches. Cap arches is also tricky here because if you go, if your opponent is going with some siege monks, cap arches are not going to be really effective. Yeah, you can raid, but I don't know. Anyway, for now, we see how red is basically going arena style 
Astra TC, Spears and Scouts, and a monastery there. Bad Blue is doing the same right now. Monastery as well yep. as I can see there. And uh, obviously a little bit behind in the timing with adding TCs, but for now, double monastery. So heavily on monks, Mr. Mr. Tristan. Wow, interesting. I mean, this is, is, is also just so fun because there's also no relics in the middle. So it's like, if, I think if there were multiple relics in the middle, every game might be a monk push. But now it's like, you're just going to have the monks there for control. I love the monk edition from Yadviga, but Yadviga won't have as many. And pretty soon, out of the great, might have an army to be able to contest the middle, but we'll want those spearmen to be alive. And the spearmen can't really run too far here. But nice kill there. I have to say, out of the great is really, really, is a chill player, man. Like a relaxed player who doesn't seem in any rush. That starting scout has just been looking around the middle. Very impressive. Okay, who are chill players? This is probably MBL, right? Very chill, never going for the aggro, if, right? If okay. Auto the Great, okay, I mean, Monk goes down. <laughs> if Auto the Great, if Auto the Great gets housed, did 50 pop? MBL confirmed? Okay, let's see. I, I, let's, could, uh, I could see it. Actually, okay. hold on a second. Can we look at the wood line? Those houses next to the wood line from Auto? Can we look at that? The outside, I'm so sorry. The, the, there's Mapu's like, what are you talking about? I think the outside wood line for auto. Oh, I mean, I, we'll see. We'll see. 50 pop, man. 50 pop. If we see auto the great get housed, it might be an MVL sighting. Okay. Well, he's doing now extra tone center. He did will borrow. So he's having the economy. He's two extra TCs right now. Coming with a lot of spears and monks. Who likes to go with the monks and now Micron as well? Let's see the micro. He has a tournament. tournament Red did not. Oh, he, he got he converts it already. The monks. He converts the monks and then he has the spears there as well. And Auto the Great is going to take the middle. And Auto the Great also is housed at 50 pop, maybe, sort of, kind yeah. of. Does the light cap dive in here? <laughs> Yeah, but there's a lot going on, Tristan. He's doing. He was without the loom. I mean, if he no was loom. committing, but he has a lot of experience. No loom till now. Well, he's chill and greedy. Greedy and chill. Who can be greedy and chill? I'm not going to say names. We just give information. All information, right, Tristan? Anyway, TC in the middle. <laughs> people, people might be thinking, right, Tristan, that he converted two monks and lost them. Oh, he lost two monks. It doesn't matter. It's not his own monks. So definitely, yeah. Mm, the, yeah. the map control seems to be better here for blue, but check the economy. Tristan, already yeah. eight, nine dollars ahead for, for red. Yeah, Yadviga, it's really smart that Yadviga decided to build the TCs where he did here. Um, or I guess where she okay. did, depending on how you're looking at it. Because if these TCs would have come up in the middle, this would be a very, very bad situation. It's still not great, man, to leave your main gold like this. But at the end of the day, there is still gold and stone on the outside. So you could yeah. move to the outside if you're Yadviga. You do need some type of an answer to Pike Monk, though. And I'm not really sure what to suggest. I think it's going to be really difficult. I think a castle is the only option. A castle with gulams is the only option, yep. honestly. Being yep. yep. being Jedwiga. And he's mining a lot of stone, as you can see. You can see how also Otto the Great is already with 20 on goal, 8 on stone. Not the best macro, but for going full clown is what probably you need. You might buy even yep. a stone to make a potential castle. He could go even towers. Remember, those towers got murder holes as well. So... I really believe that blue auto the great is going to be even greater and you're going to keep going to keep trying to go more and more aggressive. I like it, man. And then you have to think where are you vulnerable and where where auto the great could have problems is on the outside. And look at that. Auto has two pikes waiting. Auto's like, I haven't seen light cab in a while. And so has the pikeman there, sees the light cab, immediately drops some house walls here to protect. And that is brilliant defense there from Otto the Great. Yadviga might have a castle on her face soon. Okay. There's the Pikes. He's now taking those. He's getting more map. The, the thing is, he looks at Tristan that he's getting map control, but the map is huge. Red can is still expanding. And I'm sorry to say, Tristan, but Menstradamus is there on point. The castle is happening. But let's be honest. What else with Hindu is? You need to do a castle. Ooh, in, in my ooh, oh, but ooh, that's like have almost got through here. No, that's that's still open. I think there's a, a, a hole between the house and the palace side. It, but he I didn't go. Yeah, two. it was open. There you go. Oh, yeah. interesting. Well, he gets okay. through now. The light cab will die to the TC. Obviously, Otto the Great doesn't know that castle for Yadviga is going up yet. So it's still a vill lead for Yadviga. Yadviga gets a little bit of vision here in the middle now. Gets to distract Otto the Great. And Otto the Great's thinking, I'm going to push that TC. I'm going to win the game with this. 
but oh man i mean could run right into the castle and now that push through the middle mem might not actually be a strong option anymore for out of the grade it's very difficult to decide on what you do from here <laughs> he's coming with the castle but he can't now because the castle is there now look where he put the castle himself but this castle is a really a problem casting for Otto the Great because he doesn't know how close is his opponent to go up to Imperial. Yeah, right? So I agree. it's tricky it's, it's very if you tricky. put the castle there. Yeah. It's very tricky. I think a lot of players, if they if they see castle v castle, they immediately idle their TCs and they try and go imp. So I'm noticing right now, Yadviga is not producing any more vills. We're probably going to see, a, I think it wouldn't surprise me if a market's being built and we're going to see wood sold and food purchased right now. Yeah, even selling stone actually Poof. just to get up all the stone lane. sell yeah 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 I, is the right decision right tristan i mean we're talking in this kind of situation you need to go up yeah. and even idle in the tc he still had six villages so right now jadwiga is on the way to imperial with very important chances to take this game but auto the great is not so far tristan Ooh, look at that look at the, yeah Viga might cut through in another area here and Otto the Great sees some of this eco. Now, the monks and pikes can't run through there. But you definitely don't want... If you're the Teutons here, man, the last thing you want is for this to be chopped through where there's a bunch of different angles for Light Cav to come raid you. You want this to be yeah. simple and smooth. So I think you, you try and prevent that if possible. Yeah, so I'm I'm checking the economy. Look at resources collected. Why this is also happening? Not even Will Barrow for Jetwiga. Well, yeah. hand card. Who is going to be missing this kind of upgrades? Because we have to check all details. Right now, they are not giving, in my opinion, a lot of information with this kind of gameplay. It's been a little bit of a clown I strategy, agree. but didn't convert I a have, lot. Didn't go super I will aggro, tell so, you. I don't know. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm getting too Come excited me. here. I, I will tell you a fun, <laughs> uh, an interesting fact. So I have data, right? As the Light Cav get in to attack villagers, this is a great fighter, Yad Viga. But you're right, you know, these eco upgrades, they haven't come in. There is a player who we speculated on already that is known for having very late wheelbarrow compared to other pros and for picking red. And that name is Tato. So just something to think about as Yadviga kills some Vils, great raids there, and will be in the Imperial Age faster. Yeah, but there's a problem. Please, Mapu, let's focus in the castle because if you take the castle, he's going with the rams. And I don't know if he's going to be able to take that castle. No, but he's repairing. There's a petars also as well. Taking the village, he's going with two rams already here. Look at now the farmers. Tristan, nine farmers only for Jadwila. It's going to be an imperial, but what economy he has. His economy is really at the limit. He will be able to do maybe one trebuchet and that's it for now. And Otto is repairing the rams underneath the castle. Yeah. Which is why the petards were forced. You do not see players do that that frequently, man. We've got two very special players here. The Rams have worked, and we even had one of the converted villagers make a stable on the on the, the side there. Oh man, man. I mean, I'm God. with you. It's like right now, Yadviga can't make traps that easily, and can't stop these two freaking Rams. And now Otto the Great is also <laughs> in the Imperial Age. Yeah, and he has chemistry, he's doing the cap runs, all the average in the monks, the gulams are going to take over now and gonna take those runs, yes. But check that we got resources, very balanced economy. Everything zero resources, only the wood he just sell a thousand and we have some gold. And we have movement, we have movement. There's more things happening in the back. There's blue in Yadviga's base. There's blue in Yadviga's base. The stable, oh, it's still the stable, I'm stupid. But we've got a knight coming from that stable. We've got the mangonel over the wood line hitting the TC. This chaos that Otto the Great is bringing right now is undoing Yadviga, and still we will have the Trebor happening in the middle. This is craziness. Yeah, but Blue has a very good position here. He has all those upgrades. Look at the amount of army he has. He's only four bullets behind. Red is kind of stuck now doing the chemistry, but he's ready in there, as you can see. And the castle is going to be down quicker now for Red. So Otto the Great. He's being great in this game. I know it's just an easy joke, Tristan, but it's true. He's playing, in my opinion, <laughs> really, really nice. Yeah, and now insane. he has four tone centers also. Yeah, I agree. It's insane. The capped ram edition, we don't see that very frequently, man. People say, if I don't have siege ram, I'm not going to go for rams at all. The sneaky knights have worked very well. The trebuchets are coming out. The monk oh! gets converted there. There's still converted. a random villager. Yeah. I mean, imagine trying to be Yadviga. It's your first series in Hidden Cup. You have a good strategy, a strategy you practiced all week. And then the opponent does something that none of your practice games have told you was good, right? Not taking the rhinos in the middle, 
Monk Pike so pushing through the middle afterwards. Then like rams and repairs. And all of a sudden, Otto the Great will have this p important position in the middle. There's endless amounts of gold there. And I, I just don't know what Yadviga is supposed to do to get himself out of this position right now. Yeah, well, we still didn't see ACCM here in the tournament because we have not seen someone with five, four, five thousand score difference and not resigning, you know? So <laughs> we still need to... <laughs> I mean, seriously, we didn't see right. yet and we are already over 1K score. As you can see, over 1K score now is still going. He's moving. So if the game keep... Ah, it's not him. Damn it. <laughs> it's not ACCM. Ah. It's not ACCM. Okay, not ACCM. Confirmed. Yeah. GG call. Confirmed we have yet to see ACCM in Hidden Cup 5. Okay. Yeah, Yadviga just realized, I can't do anything against this. There's just too many things happening. And man, what an interesting game. And, and you know what is actually so fascinating about this is I speculated that Otto the Great might be a player who isn't as good on some of the new maps. As we look to the KD there, that was great. The amount of conversions was great. We'll see the economy as well. I mean, the economy without the extra Rhinos was so good. The timing on the push was so smooth. And at the end of the day, cheap Teuton farms was superior to getting a couple extra rhinos there. Let's see what okay. it is. This would be Yadviga's choice, of go. course. And Yadviga goes for evacuation. And like we thought, man, with, with how the draft looked, a red player is going to be a player who is ready for new strategy, who has used that practice period and is, is hopefully going to have a good strategy prepared for us here. Uh, Yadviga is playing for the Japanese. Otto the Great has the Persians. And I do want to remind people that there's this boar on the shoreline. And one other player went for the shoreline boar in the previous uh, day. And it was really fast for Yadviga to move out there. And now I'm thinking that Yadviga, whoever this player is, likely trained with, Vasco de Gama, who played on day one, because remember, this was immediate. The scout has gone out there. A lot of players will not want to lose the HP on their scout. I'd love to see it. Yep, it did the same yesterday and, and took it the, the same way. Yep. So, what it can be? Oh my God. This is so. I always have said that for me, I mean, this is pretty obvious, right? But with the 16 players, it's very hard to, to know really the players in the round one, Tristan. Yeah, it's super agreed. difficult, it, yeah. and it's it's probably the more the more fun because the 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 latest the the tournament goes more or less you you get more an idea who can be more or less. It's hard, hard to predict always hundred percent, but yeah. this is what it makes super super fun. You know the the the, the first round is maybe even more exciting. You know because you don't it can be anyone, right? So agreed. it's crazy, right? It's really crazy. I don't know, but about the sieves, what you prefer here, Tristan? Because both are really strong. And I think Cap Arches in Castles might have a, a lot to say here. I, I think I could see it, definitely. I think both of these sieves actually have a very smooth start here. So if we could take off the Fog of War for a second, just to kind of remind people of what we're working with here. The, the starting islands are very barren. Like, you just don't have a lot to work with. The trees are going to be gone, and, and you need to leave, which is why it's called evacuation. Um, and so I think with the Persians getting the extra food and, and wood at the start, it helps them a lot. The Japanese having the cheaper lumber camps and, and mills and mining camps helps them too. And then that's where the players will want to be. They'll want to be out in the grassy terrain, out where all the extra food and plentiful resources are. So my thinking, Mem, is the Japanese are better when it comes to the early game flexibility. But if this becomes a mobility game on the other area of the map, Persians could be really strong there with how fast their knights could be. Okay. Let's see what they're going to do. Remember that the economy is, is great for, for both civilizations, right? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, one with the, with the fishing ship working faster, then the this is for, for Persians as well, which is, which is great. You will notice, guys, how... Look at the village number already. Like Otto the Great, when you check capture it, you will see how he's already a little bit ahead. You see, one villager more now, or, or half yep. a villager. At the end of the of the Dark Age, right, Tristan? It will be one villager at least up for the Persian. So it's something to take in consideration. And that's why you probably need to be more aggressive with Japan. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Japanese, I think man-at-arms could make a lot of sense. So I do want to point out one thing that I saw from Vasco de Gama. Because Yadviga's opening was so similar to Vasco, 
Vasco da Gama went for the boar, right? Still went to feudal age and went into uh, galleys and archers. So it was galleys on the water and then archers. And not only that, Mem, the archers went immediately to where Otto the Great is now leaving to Lumber Camp right now. If you look at that mini map, they're moving on their way across there, Otto the Great. So I would say, like, if Jadwiga does the same exact freaking thing, we have a lot more tells as to who these players could be. Because right now, I'm already in love with the fact that the boar was brought in. But uh, we're seeing a barracks too, and we could see we could still see a combination of water and land. Yeah, but the good thing also that makes that we're probably gonna fail with the guess, uh, Tristan, is that since these maps brought it later, we might miss uh, miss a lot practicing from then, right? And maybe made many players as practice what is the best way to 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 have a good approach, right? So yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. there is more players that are going to do that. And probably it's not going to be the last one that we see the scout. And then we're going to go yeah. crazy because we are not going yeah. to know, okay, and now who is this, right? But well, let's see. Um, Tristan, the militias are coming from the Japanese and it's exactly what we probably expect from Japan, right? I agree. Yeah, yeah, we're going to see. We got the barracks there. No militia actually coming from Otto, but we have the militia from Yadviga. Yadviga also scouted the fact that this is coming. And this is just now just two militia. It's not going to be men at arms. A nice little aggressive opening. Otto the Great has already prepped some walls. And as we speculate on who is who, we got to kind of recenter our focus here and just remind people this map is brutal to play. And Otto the Great is, is laming. Otto the Great is stealing the cows here. Uh, sorry, sorry. I was not muted. So you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's maybe it's maybe information, you know. I think, I think, you know, the, 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 and maybe LA, like I like to say, you know, it's you look at it's not that it's something that cannot do other players, but he always pay attention to this, Tristan. Always, this is true. And it's funny me. as Yadviga brought those in, it took a lot of time to get those, and now out of the great gets to steal them there. So nice find there. That's that's like 450 food right there. That out of the great could have maybe get back to his base. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of food, you know. And if we check Mapu, can we check his TC, red TC? Look at the, the food he has now left there. It seems that he still have a lot, but but now he, he yeah. lost many of them. And those are going the extra for blue tone center. Yeah. Yeah, but, but look blue TC. Boar. Yeah, but if we go to blue TC, you will see that he has nothing under the tone center. And if he bring it, did you see? And now he's bringing yeah. those three. So yeah, it's not what you I steal. Will say, it's man, what you think for Don't yourself. get too excited though, because those those are slow cows. Like it's gonna take True. those cows some time. In Imperial. <laughs> in Imperial. Yeah, yeah, they'll, yeah, they'll be there in an hour. So, oh man, okay, do, uh, having played this map, like those... adding the lumber camps, adding the extra lumber camps, it feels so needed in the moment, but it just really hurts you long term, Mem. And it, it's I again to ask that. something to bring up how awkward it is. Look at Otto the Great, Mem. Send the archers towards the new area of Yadviga's eco. I, I could be wrong. I just see blue movement. There's so many things happening. Yeah, look at those archers. They were looking to go for the evacuation area, but they've been found by Yadviga. Yeah. Surprisingly, yet 0-0 zero, zero KD. Like, they are trying still to get some kills. There's no kills yet. The scout is yeah. going to be probably now down. No, he's going to take now this, the archer. Not really. He's microing both really really well right now and now there is the first kill so one militia down but here Otto the great is doing a good job not losing the scout losing the scout i mean it can be very annoying because then you can hit every single skin that your opponent is doing so it's important to take the scout that early it's weird to me that we haven't seen any fish from Otto. like he never even docked which i i think most players are always going to do here With so persians. it is five fishing ships against zero yeah is that an MBL thing that? Let's think about that. I, well, I think it's it could a weird be an MBL thing. thing. Yeah. It's a weird thing, right? So I'm not telling that MBL is weird, but he do weird strategies sometimes, you know? So it, it can be. Look at the mill. That mill is very smart also. And he has yeah. the boar, has a lot of resources there. So maybe you don't need it, but it's, it's kind of tricky because, uh, you know, Persian's dogs also work faster. You could do more galleys than your opponent, but maybe he's thinking, I cannot kill those tanky fishing ships. So yeah, let's focus that's on true. the land. 
And like, if you build the mill on the food, you're actually getting more food income right now than than the fishing ships are bringing you because there's not that much fish. So I think Otto the Great has basically said, it's easier for me to focus on land and potentially he can even make more army here. And I mean, he's got sneak archers headed that way, man. He's going to have scouts at home. He seems very patient here. He's not worried about a couple skirms. I actually think this could be really good for Otto. And I think Yadviga will be very surprised by what's about to happen. Yeah. And just look at the population. It's absolutely insane. Like he doesn't have any fishing ship. And without fishing ship, he has just only two villages behind. And he has right now even more on food. And these arches are going to do a massacre on the wood. That Lambert that you were mentioning, Tristan, is really bad because he's so exposed you cannot defend that and it's taking right now three villages this is a disaster Tristan. yeah and and a really good job there from Otto the great to find the moment but now Otto the great needs to defend properly in this position so you send your army forward now you need some level of defense this is along the lines of what you could expect on this map for those that haven't seen a lot of it get excited for messy messy games because four five six villagers dying uh, every feudal age is kind of what I was expected once we loaded it into the tournament. Uh, their villager gets saved, but the archers are still moving, and the archers are moving there, where we have villagers everywhere, but there's a tower, man. This is crazy. Uh, well, Mapu is the one who is getting crazy. Like, where is Mapu really uh, going? It's, it's, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's army all over. This is crazy. This is really crazy. Uh, man, on it. On occasion, your microphone is evacuating. So uh, I think I know you, and you're probably moving because you're excited. No, no, no. So just don't. No, no, no. Oh, you're I not. Okay. What's going on? I know. I know. I know. Okay, I know. I'm aware of that, and I and I know. We'll what figure is it out. But I don't know why it's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no worries. It was easy for me to make an evacuate joke, so I had to go for it. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, for some reason, it's true that the, the microphone is going down sometimes, and I don't know why. It's all good. It's all good. No worries. So scouts and archers continuing to engage against Yadviga's main army on the evacuation island. There's there's villagers that are apparently wandering forward from Otto to build a tower, possibly, on Yadviga's mainland as those archers run away. I don't know. The tower foundation was maybe canceled, man. But a messy game here. Much messier than the, the game we saw in game number or series number one on this map to start off Hidden Cup. Okay, let's see what is going to happen now. I, don't know why, but the microphone I mean, resources right now for Yadviga are why. looking really good, man. It's all right, we'll roll with it. I'm not sure what's happening, but we'll roll with it. The Castle Age upgrade should be coming in for Yadviga. Yadviga with some beautiful micro finds the archer kills on every single unit there. But Otto the Great was looking here on the gold. And actually, gold could be a concern for Yadviga. That is the only area Yadviga can get gold is on the front here. And the messiness continues. Again, no fish here for Otto the Great. Maybe if Otto could find a few more villager kills here and get more farmy eco, the resources could be in for Castle Age. And Memba, I don't know if you're there at this point. Feel free to speak up at any point. If not, we'll keep rolling with it as we decide as we as we adapt to the situation archers finding kills here on the gold of out of the greats and that is two villagers down there could be more but still no castle age for for yadwiga what is happening we've got full scouts from yadwiga now who figures i can't go castle age because otherwise i'm going to die this is crazy stuff look at the action there's army everywhere right now Five fishing ships behind this. Archers and skirms finding the pickoffs here. Villagers could easily go down here. This is going to be horrible for Yadviga. And it seems like Otto the Great is really comfortable. Spearman in there is getting some nice hits on the scouts. There are also some archers mixed in, but maybe not enough. And the additional scouts pay off. I mean, this is all before we're going to have fire galleys added in from Otto the Great to try and kill those fishing ships. Both players have to manage their eco, both where they started, but also on the, the, the new land. And finally, now Yadviga clicks up. Has collected 400 more resources. But 400 is not that significant. The berries, the board, back, the farms, Tristan. everything here from Otto will be good enough to take him towards Castle Age soon. And Memp, welcome back. Hopefully We've got you some action. Me good. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, what they do is good. Had the problem, but uh, for some reason, it's uh, it's it's having these issues. This uh, that the, the microphone is going down, up and down, and I don't know why. It never happened. Is it, no worries. I, it's all good, dude. I'm a low elo legend. We adapt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mm, going to Castellage and uh, Otto the Great is not even close to go Tristan. So who has the advantage here? It feels like if Yadviga can hold this, that Yadviga is going to be okay. The concern here is Yadviga is currently taking gold on this area of the screen. So, you know, right before Castle Age, a couple villagers could go down. And there's going to be one. There's, there's still more exposed. Like, you kind of need that gold area here if you're Yadviga. But, man, to, to answer the question, I think that Yadviga has the lead. Castle Age this fast, being able to make a couple knights can be devastating. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if he's going to be able to do it. It's true that he has a lot of army Otto the Great, but uh, I don't know. It's, uh, well, but Otto the Great is going to go up. Remember that Persians also work faster, the TC. So it's kind of, well, if he keeps on the hill, you know, he has a lot of army as well. 25, 20, and nine villages more, Tristan. Nine villages yeah. more. That's crazy. Yeah, and your Persians do. Persians do advance a little bit faster than other civs. This is your best time to take a fight if you're Otto. Otto knows he's probably going to lose most of this tonight, so he's taking the engagement, and it's not the engagement he would have wanted. Ideally, he would have cleared this up and then maybe killed a few more vills. But the Knights are out, and Yadviga has 90 seconds now in Castle Age to push this all back. Okay, let's see, because the Knights are there, and now he's going to be down. All the army, as you mentioned. He's doing an extra tone center. Well, but he will be in time to have army, but uh, Jadwiga is doing how many? Four knights already. Uh, how many stables? Blue will need probably double stable at least to, to counter now, because if not, mm -hmm. he's not going to match the numbers ever. And, and Mem, the most important thing you need in these moments is the ability to wall. And what do you wall towards? Woodlines. What is gone? Woodlines. Like, there's just going to be villagers exposed everywhere here. So you don't usually see tower defense against a night rush, but it kind of makes some level of sense here for Otto because it, it allows him to keep some villagers safe while he waits for either his own knights or maybe some camel suit. Oh my god! Not even double attacks! I just noticed now from Otto the Great. Not a single upgrade! I know Persons is good economy, but still, we are in minute 27, Tristan. And he's doing now. Yeah. Double attacks and horse collar. Yeah, pretty crazy stuff here. I mean... And, and no fishing ships, right? So it felt like to me, like, Otto really he didn't have a build which was that great economically. Now, I think his aggression was great. I think other aspects of his eco was fantastic here. But he's struggling now to, to deal with the amount of pressure from Yadviga. And behind this, Yadviga still has the fish. Yadviga is out of the second TC on the mainland. And this is looking better and better for Yadviga. And, and better and better for us, man, as we hope this series ties up 1-1. Okay, let's see what is going to happen now because the economy, as you mentioned, stabilized. We have a lot of nice coming. I don't know. It's too many, Tristan. Uh, I, it's really, really yep. too many. Yep, agreed. I agree. It's just really, really difficult. The Knights can outnumber the Camels here. It feels like with Otto the Great not having a second TC, we could have some big problems for him soon just with pure villager count, even if he's not losing villagers. And nice shot from Yadviga to know I could force the issue right now. I'm, Yadviga sees all the idle villagers and knows, doesn't feel the need to pull away here and wants to just clear up every single camel if it's possible. It actually is close to possible as some of those units survive, man, but it, it it's tough for Otto right now. I'm not seeing a good way for Otto to bring this back. Well, but uh, if you check the population, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, I agree. It's close. It's, it's, it's one same. of those things, though. It's like, at this point, though, unfortunately for Otto, he doesn't have a lot of gold, and he can't make an army to counterattack. Whereas Yadviga can continue to make more armies while also expanding the economy. But it is crazy, and maybe this is why people think Persians are so strong, that Otto the Great has lost as much as he has. He hasn't lost fishing ships, and he's sitting at, you know, 53 eco against 58. Yeah, and the crazy thing, Tristan, is... Although the Great is still on one tone center, it doesn't matter. He's very close with the economy thanks to the Persia bonus. He's only behind. Yep, I, I agree. Yep.
Yeah, I agree with you. Knights still attacking. Going in for the monk there. I think at this point, you probably got to be a little bit more careful making uh, knights against the camels. Maybe we could see the pikeman switch here for Yadviga. But man, we also have villagers pretty heavily on stone for Yadviga. Yadviga with 450 stone. The 450 stone could lead to a castle drop. And I just... Normally, we're looking for positives. Normally, we're looking for things to get excited about here. But Otto just, you know, kind of started the game and said, I need to win this fast. Hasn't won it fast. The lack of fish, the lack of eco is really starting to catch up with him right now. And there goes Camel chasing the knight. That's going to be lead to a knight dying on that side. So that's nice. Also, like the light cav upgrade here from Otto. There are some monks out there. The light cav can be useful. Also, a few random raids could be useful. But here, the light cav are needed. Because advancing forward with some monks is Yadviga. And Yadviga right there on the gold again. And so you have two tiles of gold near the player base, guys, to work with. The rest of the gold is on the outside. And you're looking at one of the tiles. And the other gold was to the right of the TC from Otto. So Otto actually has no gold income available on the starting land now. And that monastery will likely go down. A tower is being dropped here from Otto. That's tower number two. And Mem, to your point earlier, I definitely am getting some MBL vibes here from Otto the Great. I'm not sure if you still agree. I could tell by Mem's silence that he definitely agrees with me on that statement. It's good to bring in casters who agree with me. It makes me feel good about myself. And the, the knights and the monks, just going to have to back away now for Yadviga towards the monastery apologies folks for the uh, technical difficulties but we're making the most of it and I, I am still continually surprised by autos auto the greats ability to survive so while i have a moment to continue to think about if this could be someone like mbl i once so kindly coined the term the cockroach of aoe when talking about mbl and i it's not the nicest nickname for someone to receive but is meant as a compliment because he could never be killed it feels like he was on the winning side in game number one here auto we'll see what auto does and if auto could stay alive if auto can recover from this it would be phenomenal we do have the second tc going up on the mainlands now so that's nice for auto second town center is being built and there we've got three tcs well two in total for yadviga and three in total uh if you count the mainlands hello memp Tristan, if he recover, it's like if I can fix my microphone, almost the same, you know? <laughs> Pretty insane, you know? Honestly, man, I just don't want you to feel bad because at this point, it's really funny, all right? <laughs> but I feel, I feel terrible, you know? But, but, but I what, know. what's happened, man? What, what, what's happened? The microphone is going down, man, all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I mean, know. I don't, I don't know. know what it is, but it's funny. It's funny. I can't get mad. It's okay. It's, it's crazy. Okay. Okay, well, here we go. Yadviga is hoping to drop a castle here on the front. Now, that is a long distance to walk, but I think Yadviga may be a little bit frustrated with how game number one went and said, I'm looking to send a message here. And as the villagers are getting slaughtered here by the knights, this is an open invitation for Yadviga to drop that forward castle. And if this castle goes up, man, it'll deny the gold. It'll shoot down this TC, and it might mean we have our 1-1 situation. There is no way that this castle could lead to anything good for Out of the Great. Yeah, I mean, 30 billion is different. Like, 30 billion is different. It's, it's huge. It's insane, yeah. actually. How you come back from that, it's... I don't know. That castle I mean, could have actually been more forward. Like, the, the potential was there for that castle to be between the TCs. I don't think Yadviga wanted to take any massive risks, though. This is a big moment. And I'm sure the nerves are were really going crazy for these guys. Because, again, they don't know who they're up against. This is a big tournament. The knights kind of dive through, see some camels again. No to back away. We might see some samurais appear soon to deal with those camels. It should be pretty solid. But, man, the economy for Yadviga. I mean, Yadviga's just done such a good job using... A brand new map and auto the great could on honestly looks like they didn't practice near as much here uh with the lack of the dock and the overall approach okay man as you can see 
well, uh, the game can stabilize, but uh, stabilize is bad for Autodegrade because he needs to do some damage and he can't do anything actually. What he yeah. can do? Like, it's too yeah, big, I map, think... so nothing he can do. I, yeah, I think what he's going to try here is he's going to try a castle next to the opponent's castle and hope to go in. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, this is nice. Finding some raids like this is really nice. Uh, what we know, though, is that Yadviga's already on the way to Imp. So uh, a castle and then Imp for trebuchets is not going to be all that good for Out of the Great because the opponent's already kind of won that race. Well, uh, the, the only thing is that if you reach up, if you go up to Imperial and he's going now, he has Bombard Cannons. Chemistry, you can go up quite quick and still have the resources. But it's still, it's still 30 villages difference. And two castles mm -hmm. now in front. And he can make Cataparuto. Remember, those traps are going to be as fast as the Bombard Cannons. It's yep. kind of tricky. It's very difficult. Yeah, I agree. It is one of the rare instances where we as a caster can't be that creative. Uh, and we kind of know, well, this one is, is over, but the player doesn't, right? I think the score maybe, man, there's only a 300 or 400 score difference. So I don't think Otto's going to expect his opponents on the way to him. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. You sometimes don't understand how the score can be that close. Well, because at the end, look at the Echo KD and, and the KD is so equal. So, yeah, it was really, like it this game was really close. Yeah, It really just came down to the fact that Yadviga was able to drop town centers and get more villagers flowing. And it was the early Castle Age moment for Yadviga. Clearing up so many villagers and raiding with the knights while also expanding to that second town center is really what brought that Viga to this position and this is kind of what you expect from the best players that they're going to be able to hit you where it hurts with the military and then also have really strong economy behind it okay look at those cab arches trying to raid and kill even more but you'd really don't need to kill anything anything else now. Look at the village is different. And we do two yeah. trebuchet in front. He's doing four trebuchets right away. You know, four traps. You know, you know what happened now, Tristan? I'm scared to talk because I'm looking at the mixer all the time. <laughs> if it's gonna go down all the time again, you know. Dude, so, man, just act like seemed... just act like yeah. Act like we're like we're like like brothers growing up and our parents told us to go to bed, but we're still yeah. playing video games, okay? Yeah. It's okay. Okay, it, okay. It's okay. it's good now. Okay, okay, it's good okay. now. I honestly I think what it I mean, was is yeah, it was maybe you getting too excited, which for you is like that's no, no. difficult because but, you're excited all but, the time. But, 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 exactly. I mean that cannot be the issue. I'm excited all the time. <laughs> it's not a problem. You know, like what the hell? And we have the same microphone actually. We have exactly the same microphone <laughs> as well. We do, uh, and there we I go. Say, it, 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 it's a guy going down. Well, what the hell? I hate is. myself. It's yeah. okay. It's all right. If we have to have the chill version of Memb. We'll deal with it. Technology sucks, but what a game. What a freaking series we have here. It is all tied up between Otto the Great and Yadviga. And a beautiful job from Yadviga to understand this map. We had the boar being brought in with the scout at the start. We had the additional fishing ships. And these are the things. Like I, I saw a very clear difference between how the two people played that one. So, And this is something. This is a series... I cannot look away from, and I cannot believe that out of the great, after losing that game, decided, actually, I'm going to go for my opponent's home map. We see Cup here, and out of the great, in the blue, going forward early with the scout. Are we going to see a lame attempt? Is this MBL confirmed? Well, right, going right away, mm, probably right. Yeah, seems like it, man. I have I have vivid yeah. memories of MBL in the past because this is fixed positions going forward to try and lame. Now, we moved the boars onto the back because players like MBL basically forced us to. But right at the start, Auto the Great goes forward to lame. I'm getting very strong Master Boar Lamer vibes right now. Okay. Let's see if he's going to... Well, it's, it's not going to lame anything. But it's very tricky to send this, right? Yeah. Uh, and yeah. then it, he didn't pick, after the loss, he didn't pick his whole map. It's, it's crazy. That is crazy to me. But, it, you know, this does reinforce in my mind that maybe Otto the Great is a player who played in Hidden Cups in the past, right? So there's five players in this Hidden Cup who've never played before. So they never really would have had a lot of experience on Cup. I know that, you know, saying it eliminates five players doesn't do too much. But if I had to guess, I would say that 11... 
This is one of 11 players <laughs> who played in Hidden Cups before if they were happy to go for Cup here game three. Okay. Well, let's see. I think it's, it's very difficult to make a, a, a correct guess as we, as we can see. Then with the civilizations, Spanish here, it's also a civilization that we don't see so often. And it's still Agreed. a kind just to go for MBL. MBL is one of those players that make, you know, special things and can be another one. Well, Saracens um, here. Another one that go would on. come to mind for me for picking Spanish here, man, would be someone like Yo. Someone like Yo really likes his castle drops. We saw a player uh, in Sebastian in the qualifiers pick pick Spanish and go Conquistadors, but... It is de this is not a map that I've normally thought unique units are strong on. Uh, this is normally a map where you see the players play with the water. So we'll see. But I, I do want to explain kind of how this map works for anyone who's new or anyone who needs a reminder. Uh, the basic explanation is the water on this map can also be covered by land units. And then if you were to dock one side of the water, you cannot cross over to the other. So there's a lot of scouting that's needed and a lot of decision making that's needed because uh, controlling the water, the smaller area of water controls the water that's directly beneath you or between you and your opponent. Whereas the other area, it's not between you and your opponent, but obviously it's more important long term with more fish and then also more gold. Yeah, also these, this map with the test as well, since you are very close to the to the mangrove area, basically all your resources are kind of uh, safe, right? Because you have all the time at the back. So it's a map that it's more or less easy to to to, to wall, to defend. So it's very important that you get the, the mangrove area with the goal also in the middle. And that's why probably the water is here so important because how do you make damage on the land? It's difficult. It's very difficult. And I think maybe the thinking from the player who's picked Spanish here, Otto the Great, Maybe he thinks if it's difficult to find damage on land and now I have extra sheep, I can just wall up and maybe Conquistadors is actually a possibility here. So I, I don't mind the Spanish pick. I also think Spanish cannon galleons or Navy could be really strong in Imperial Age. And man, like, it feels like every time we see two really good players play this map, it's almost always going to the Imperial Age, right? Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be surprising, you know? It wouldn't be surprising. I like it. Yeah. Interesting okay. that we don't have a Let's dock see. from Yadviga now. No docks whatsoever. No fishing ships that might still come. Otto the Great did actually dock. And Yadviga is, is looking for that, but did not see it because of where the dock was placed. I like the decision making fast there. Ca fast we Castle. Right yeah, fast right now. And it, it's Go. Fast Castle from Yadviga. Good fast call, man. Yeah, it's fast castle right away. And with the Saracens market 75 wood, super cheap, you, you're going to go fast castle. And if you need resources, you can buy it easily, you know? Mm -hmm. So fast castle. Usually when there's no dog, you, we see barrack and militias. If you don't see that, it's because the, the fast castle has to be. What else now? Look at the village number already. It's fast castle yeah. right away from, from red. It's, it's definitely fast castle. But fast castle into what? What do you make? It, would Monks be an option? We did have a player in one of the show matches for Hidden Cup who obviously isn't in the main event. Uh, they did go for lots of Monks on this map right through the middle. Is that a possibility? I don't know. I mean, it's very hard to guess, but, well, it could be. Well, he's doing the loom now. He's definitely going to be Fast Castle. And, uh, but Fast Castle... Yeah, let, let's see what you mentioned. Like, Yeah. My my it's prediction, my guess here yeah. is that we will see a uh, fast castle, double monastery monks, yeah. and that this is going to get really, really crazy because monk rushes, when you're close distance, can be insanely strong. And I don't know, maybe it's new meta. Like in the past, uh, a couple of years ago, no one was going for crazy monks here. But I, I don't know, could be wrong. Now that I see the barracks, I'm thinking that Maybe we who, won't see as who, many barrack, monks. Okay. <laughs> well, no, no, no. But but, but Barak makes sense because if their opponent feel it, like maybe can go stable as well. I don't know. But Barak and Juice Monastery also with, with the spears is a great combination because you avoid the, mm -hmm. the, the counter that is the scouts. So Barak, I mean, going, let's say, 
only monks, it would be very tricky. You need something else, you know. And the Barak. I makes think sense at the moment. Well here. I think at the moment Otto is a little confused. He's like, "Where is this dock at?" Because remember, in the previous game, we thought that both players should dock as well. Otto, who understands this map, looking around now, looking for docks, didn't see a single one. Has added two spears, has two scouts, and is hoping to do some damage here. But definitely will know. Because the feudal age time is so late here from Yadviga, it should be obvious to Otto the Great that his opponent is going for Fast Castle. Wow. He's doing the stable, he's doing the, the, the market. He can buy the resources easily. And, well, uh, all good. And uh, he's walking back at, the, uh, at home. Well, I want to apologize. I didn't say anything. I want to apologize, but we cannot uh, control these kind of things with the microphone. It seems that he's fixed it. I'm not going to say it a mm -hmm. lot of times because you know what happened when you say that something is fixed, right, Tristan? That then it's, Don't it's going, it. Don't it's going it. back to the, yep. you know? So not going to tell anymore. I apologize because also Tristan know and you know me that uh, I'm uh, obsessed with the taking of this too. So when these kind of things happen, it really put me down. But we were going to recover all the energy for keep going even more when we see that the player is going to be in 15 minutes in castle but blue is reading the game he knows that he's going to be in castle age and he's doing a tower on the goal it's a really interesting tower isn't it because again members we think about players who do this some players they're hesitant to go forward like this but Otto the great is not hesitant at all Otto the great doesn't care and he is now taking the saracen player off that goal so that's really smart when you know the saracen player is going to rely on it to build that tower but there is another gold for Yadviga in the back that Yadviga is able to go to so all is not yeah. lost the check? gold is still there and it's available yeah I was going to ask Amapu Mapu, can you put fog of war from blue to see if blue can see the goal at the back use the fog of war from blue player he doesn't he doesn't he mm -hmm. doesn't know he has no clue about that so even if he's doing the tower now he might be thinking Tristan okay he's doing the tower here he want to avoid that thing coming forward but he still doesn't know if his opponent has another at the back so yeah you yeah. see he has only one farmer jadwiga but he's gonna be in castles in a moment how do you stop now that even with the walls he's doing at home being in castle is that early a blue is still need a lot of time to this go is, up to castle. this is mbl this is this is mbl i there's no way this is an mbl blue, right? the great is either mbl yeah. yes yes out of the great is either mbl or he is accm or something but we have more spearmen. We got we we got like happy to build another tower. This to me feels like MBL confirmed. Um, <laughs> but just because of how comfortable he is to have walked forward here, man. But to answer your question, I think that the problem here for Jadviga, even though Jadviga got gold again, it's actually the food. Like you're actually using that gold to buy food right now. So it's going to be tough to really make a lot. And with no fishing ships. I'm just not so sure this faster castle age does too much right now. Yeah, I'm wondering what is going to be the following. Like he's balancing the economy, he bought it to stone. He's doing TCs. He's going to go for it with the echo. I mean, just okay. think that it can be three, four minutes at least in castle age faster than his opponent. I mean, Otto the Great is not even going. So if he's going some some boom, and maybe now siege workshop after the second TC. He's, he's fine and he's going to have a, a really big economy lead. And he's taking out the fish with the camels. Those camels, yep. we forgot to mention, 20 HPAs for their tanky. They're very tanky, so they are fine. Okay, let's see if Otto the Great gets housed at 50 pop and pulls a villager off of like a wood line or something to build the houses. Let's see. Population's climbing, 48 out of 50. Eight spearmen here, walling in the tower. Let's see. Is it MBL confirmed moment? He does have an issue. He produces a lot. He forgets to make houses. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now he might build the house with the forward villager. Um, he actually lost units here, folks. So he's not housed yet. But he's still he's making more spearmen. This is a hundred percent MBL. This is definitely MBL. He's making well, he's demos out of both millions. sides right now. Millions of them. Okay. That he has a double barrack even. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> he has a hey, double okay, barrack. Got a house. We check. Actually, not confirmed. Not confirmed. Not confirmed. The house is up. Oh, man. I mean, it's well, pretty actually, wild. He's making demos and spears. And Yadviga, the longer that Otto stays in Feudal Age, the more that I like the position for Yadviga. Like, these spearmen have not done much. 
We'll see if the demos do something, though, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There we go. There's Bro. your pot of boom, yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, but this, but this is the problem. Look how tanky they are. Probably they will lose all them without the, the extra HP. Now extra you go HP. home. He has a monastery. He, he can go home, monastery, and then the monk is going to heal all the all the camels. He's still fine. He's still really fine yeah. with 38 abilities, 42 for Otto the Great. Okay, but look at the resources. Otto the Great is going to go up to Castlech when I'm going to be 2K no. in this game. Maybe never. Yeah, no? yeah like... Okay. Mem, Mem sure? like, the resources are horrible right now for Out of the Great. That's the problem. Yeah. He had the resources to go castle, and he made tons of spearmen, and he's also making quite a few demos right now. Like, this is going to be a 30-minute castle age at this rate for Out of the Great if he can't somehow get the food to click up here. Okay. Uh, I was I was scared because I said about 2K, and you said right away, no. I was like, oh, man, don't tell me my face. I think we'll never be 2K. I mean, what the hell are you talking, man? <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. <laughs> he has the stone. Otto the Great He's going to sell all the resources, so he's going to go up to, to castle it eventually. Uh, but this is starting to look really NBL, as you mentioned. Look at that economy, you know, with millions of stone. Yeah. But where's the market? He, he's going to... Look how so, random no. this is, dude. This is MBL is the way to describe MBL to people is he's just so now. random and it, it it creates chaos, right? So it has been and it works. in some ways. Yes, it works, but it, it's you very know? tough to work when players recognize, oh, I should just chill here and oh my god. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Geez. I mean, I, we need to think if there is a possibility that there is someone else that could do these things. But I don't see it. And right now, he's doing another tower. He's on the way to Castlech. And the following is going to be a castle forward. But Jadwiga is reading this really well, I believe. And he's mining a stone. He's doing another tower here. And probably he will do a castle faster than Otto the Great, or at least at the same time. And Mamelus versus mm -hmm. Kongs. I don't think the Mamelus are going to be very afraid against the, against the Kongs. I mean, it might be a rare instance where Mamelukes actually become very strong. We got camels moving out, and there's demos exactly. everywhere. We got to be real careful right now if you're at Vigo. Towers. Oh my God. Towers on the water, and also demos, and also spearmen. This could all be upgraded in Castle Age. So we'll see. There go the camels. Now, previously, the camels didn't die to the hits. And then the weak ones would just be healed up. There are the spears, but Yadviga always paying attention, man. Never diving in too deep, never making any mistakes. Very strong play. Yadviga, exactly. I mean, except the, the last demo that you see there now. Look at the KD. Otto the Great with millions of demos has killed four units in the whole game. I look at now the castle here. I'm not sure. Well, the castle is going to take down three towers, record the main goal. Also the stone, you know. And, uh, I don't know. I think this is a perfect castle. Because if you wait at all, this that castle is just going to be a blue one, right? So you have to be as patient as possible. You have to, or sorry, you have to be as aggressive as possible. You have to accept that the weak villagers need to be pulled back. And that castle will clear up the three towers. It'll reclaim the gold. And as Otto makes it to the castle age at 25 minutes, Otto now is going to have to plan for something else. And that something else is a town center in the corner of the map, Mem. Oh, man, we've got a demo here. We've got a demo. The demo yeah. kills three uh -oh. monks. Some big hits there on the monks. The monks go down. The ships could be upgraded. Out of the great is making it difficult for Yadviga to know where the pressure is going to come from and what it will be. And... Mem, I think I think you're good. I think you're good. I think you're a little worried. We it should be fine. Give it a test. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here all the time. Perfect. I'm just checking that that DC in the corner is better than probably what people think because um when red is gonna explore there. <laughs> probably That's never. True. You know? <laughs> probably true. never. Red Bull. So that, yeah. that, I mean, who will make a TC there? Just look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I mean, uh, no, nobody will, will explore there, you know? Because they have the camels. But now the problem is, is the village difference is just too big. Like, you can make a castle now for oh, He has oh, a castle. Look oh, at the demo. my God. Sorry, man. They're so close. Nice, my I don't kill anything. Yeah, we get, uh, 
this point, Yadwiga knows this guy's going to be crazy. So I just have to avoid the water for a second and just chill. Just, just boom up three TCs, add villagers, and take it easy. Now, we've now got a two-villager castle mem being built near the gold. What in the world? Yeah, but... but but And also house at 75 demos, pop. They, yeah. And this is castle. is demos. They're still not killing anything. Two villages doing the castle there. It's too far with the economy now here. Just look. Ooh, three demos. Okay, that was a good one. Look at the, look at the highlights. Good point. Uh, on point. Okay. MBL also does go for a lot of early hand card. I, I actually, I look back at old hidden cups and I say, shut up, dude. Stop making guesses. So I'm going to try and settle down with my guesses here. But I, I've made it clear that this, this Otter the Great player is unique. And, you know, man, I don't know how what to suggest to people who are playing against a player this chaotic. But oftentimes, it's just stick to the basics of getting a good economy and playing safe. And so far, Yadviga has done a great job as a 20 villager lead here and has survived. So as we continue on, uh, castle now for Yadviga. That's castle number two near the shoreline. And this is going to be... I mean, at this point, Yadviga can take all the gold and all the stone around that main eco. It's actually kind of awkward to see the main gold. That's funny. Otto the Great has quite a bit of farming eco there. I think matchup-wise, Spanish and Saracens are pretty close. But I'm just not seeing any offensive like tools from Otto the Great to really be able to break Yadviga at the moment. I say Camels that I agree, monk, but you didn't listen. Engaging. You know, Tristan? For some oh, reason, okay, okay. I, answered to you, I, I, I answered to your question, but for some reason, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't listen. I love this. My goodness, Since I don't ignore you, you know, Tristan, don't worry. You it's know? all good, it's all good. <laughs> but you are, but you are really polite, you know, you are really polite because you, you keep going. Okay, maybe he's ignoring me. No, I don't, you know, <laughs> I don't ignore you, you know, it's okay, he's ignoring me, you know, but no, I don't. But um, Jadwiga, it's on the way to Imperial Age already, and he has nine volumes more. Otto the Great is not even close to go, so now what? Mm -hmm. Now what you can do? Well, it's going to be the same situation, a very similar situation to what we had before. So in Feudal Age, Otto the Great was late to castle, and he just made a whole lot more army to try and hold the map and buy time. Now, Otto the Great's going to do something similar. So we'll see a couple extra monks, a couple extra spears, conks, demos maybe. And this is just a crazy boom for Otto. So Otto is, is hoping to be able to just hold right now. And the way that you could somehow hold is if your eco is expanded into six different directions, which he's kind of doing, and if you have high power units. So I, I just, I think like conversions are going to be needed. Some big demo hits that actually kill camels are going to be needed here. And then if he does that, I mean, he's on the way to imp as well. He's Spanish. You could maybe make cannon galleons. I think you'd actually have a realistic shot. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. And in later game, what do you prefer here? Saracens or Spanish in a map like this? Hmm. I mean, I think I would go for I think I would go for Spanish. Um, that is if it the situation was even. And I mean it is getting really close. Resources collected is actually higher for Otto. Otto's got a relic collected already, is making some monks. Like the, the corner TC is gonna be a distraction if nothing else. This is a really good game here. It's incredibly close. Yeah. And, and Tristan, we cannot underestimate Spanish monks. You know, the Spanish monks with Inquisition and everything, you know, and they have, as you mentioned, those crazy cannon boats, the bomber cannons, they have hazards, even bombard towers. Well, if Blue is going to bombard towers, then we know. By the way, he explored the corner. Yeah, he finally sees so, it. The outpost yeah. helped him see it. I, you know, it, it's one of those things, man. It's like, do you castle drop that? What do you do? <laughs> I, yeah. I think you just have to ignore it. But then again, you don't want a player well, like Otto the Great to be able to use that position to to disrupt you. Man, these camels are, are crazy. The camels are dealing with that. The camels has only bloodlines now. Now he's doing the husbandry. This is, this is pretty wild how much they have been holding the whole game. But then what I don't understand how he's even 
able to auto degrade with all this mess catch up already the builder's number and he's I on agree. the way to imperial he's gonna have all the upgrades he has the goal and even if it was looking jadwiga has been controlling the the whole game i feel that blue is ahead now i it like maybe, blue yeah like i do not know i do not know i cannot explain how out of the great is not dead now if this is mbl we will see we got inquisition coming in for the monks mbl loves to go for supremacy and fight with villagers so that's something to think about supremacy is something very few players utilize um at least offensively in age of empires 2. but the castle starting to be trebbed down i think the navy is going to be insane for yadviga yadviga building that up from those docks and this map mem is all about that gold in the middle area right now and out of the great does not want to Ooh. give it up Okay, let's see how important the galleys are going to be. The, the one who is coming with the monks is now red. A lot of camels here. He has to be careful. He's going to take down those to see how many villages there. He not. He needs to run away. And he's doing supremacy, which is very MBL smart confirmed. here. Because, MBL confirmed. Uh, well, that's another thing, you know? Well, uh, come on, Tristan. Everyone do supremacy with the Spanish, right? <laughs> but <laughs> but only MBL pick Spanish. So, yeah, it's still, yeah, right? right? But the castle is going to be down now with the three threat, which is okay. And uh, what is the following here? Because it seems that Auto the Great is only going for the for Supremacy the Supremacy right bills now. are going for the trap, oh, man. man. Supremacy bills are going for the trap. Oh my God! Did he did he get Supremacy? Did it complete? I think he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying he to has. attack. Oh, the villagers fight where? back. Well, well, wait. He he lost the castle. I believe. I think it got. So I maybe think he lost the castle researching it. He lost yeah. the castle Can you click one only? He have oh no! He doesn't have. <laughs> Yeah, man, because I can oh, tell man. you that the Spanish bullets are stronger than that. You know what I mean, right? Okay, so yeah. let's see. But he's still controlling that one. Well, for those people that don't know, I'm a Spanish, guys. And I'm going to tell you one secret. I don't know who did this game. We are not this strong. And we are not working faster. But let's move on to another <laughs> topic, guys. <laughs> you anyway, not build faster. <laughs> no, no, no. We, don't, we don't build faster. Do the opposite, you know? Anyway, let's keep going now. And now you know why I'm recovering the happiness? Tristan, I find out the problem, so the microphone is not gonna fail anymore. Physicists, oh. conquistador, monks, yes, yeah, it was in the program, man. In the remix, okay. there was an auto right. gain activated. It was auto gain activated on my end, and so that's why it was going wild, and I didn't know because I don't use this program ever, you know. But it's fixed. It's all good. So man, I'm very happy. I mean, all we good. finally got it sorted. Oof. We got it sorted. This game has been insane. We've been through a lot, people. Can we can we acknowledge? that we and these players have been through a lot and heavy demos are hiding in the darkness. Yet, yet Vika does not know about this yet. So if those trebs go to treb anything down, demos are gonna swoop in and possibly kill everything. This is gonna be the biggest explosion of Hidden Cup 5 so far and oh, maybe need... the best series, man. This is just craziness. Yeah. Tristan, we need then Fog of War from Red. Fog of War from Red, really, on the on the water side, because here, yeah, yeah, yeah he need, we need to nice, know what he sees. Be down, but we need the Fog of War here, and he's gonna see. But he see the heavy demo now. He has a lot he of sees monks. Them now. Look at the army numbers. Wow, did he made a guy in supremacy? I don't think he did it again because maybe he thinks that he researched it. And actually, we forgot that this beautiful capture is version Tristan got the upper is there, and he's not researched. Yep. He have Inquisition, Mem. but not that one. Yep. We've Go got on. monks that are about to convert ships. We will have heavy demos Ooh. from both players. We have fires. We have camels. We have greatness here in Hidden Cup 5. And I'm just waiting for it all to unleash. This is going to be crazy. And, and it seems like Otto's the one that wants to start the fight. Oh my god, we're even going to have Spanish cannon galleons here, man. But why, why you keep calling him Otto? Uh... Who? Who? Auto it's the NBA, man. It's <laughs> NBA, man. Go <laughs> get NBA, man. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't stop know calling him Otto, meant. man. It is. Yeah, man. I mean, stop calling him Otto. Anyway, look at those. He's coming a lot, a lot. He's going to convert. What is going to do Otto the Great? Tristan is going to be able to hold this push or not? Let's go. I mean, it's really difficult to continue to get conversions with these monks. But he is getting conversions on the ships. And the fires have the galleons pinned back. And there's cannon galleons behind this as well from the Spanish. The population for Otto is climbing. He has the relics control. He has the gold control. And somehow the player who is like 
10 minutes behind a castle age is holding the middle right now man this is insane yeah i i think the score is still ahead for Yadwiwa, but it's not it's not blue in my opinion has now all the timing, all the momentum, and here with these units. And the most important, he has the map control. For how long he's gonna have red gold? Yeah. If he's still in this position, but, like blue, it Tristan doesn't even need to attack anymore. Just hold the area. Yeah. Well, the, the tricky thing will be if the Saracen Galleon number is gets much higher, it will destroy everything. Saracen Galleons are insanely strong. Now, Otto the Great, who we may think is going to be MBL, is now going to do something that is incredibly smart with the Spanish and incredibly typical for that player MBL. He's researching Bombard, Ooh, Bombard Tower, Tower to hold this Bombard position. Tower. If he can get Bombard Towers up, he can maybe hold, but Mem, I'm not finished with Yadviga. I think Yadviga's sick. Galleons are paying off. The, the Monk count is extremely low for Otto. Otto only has 21 on food. This is problematic for Otto the Great right now. And who is red then? Is this Atatot versus NBL? Is that I, possible? I, do, I got, I'm thinking big names. Yeah, I think Yavika's played really well. Game number one, still kind of tricky for me to pick up on it. But yeah, if we think this is NBL losing to somebody, who do you think that would be? Uh, I can't wait for the community to be able Good to point. vote on this after the series. But Good of point. course, it's a best yeah. of seven, man. But... We'll yeah, see yeah. how it goes. Right now, fast fire ships and monks, the only army for Otto the Great, and there's just so many Galleons. I don't know if Galleons yeah, can man. be stopped right now. I mean, this is only game number three, and I don't know, but I think we have like over two hours broadcast. This is gonna be, you want the seven games, and these series look like one that can be, can be definitely there. I see that happening. Anyway, we were thinking that Otto the Great was going to have this area, he has Bombard Towers now, but Jadwiga, as you mentioned, he's got absolutely mm -hmm. everything and he's doing the upgrade that he's gonna give. What? The Siege also the powerful? Uh, oh, and Hazards are coming uh, too. There's a new... Th Mem, Mem uh, when you signed the no. contract to cast with me, you agreed not to make me look bad if I didn't know a new unique tech. Uh, it's, a, it's a new unique tech that does something for the Saracens that I forget. They changed it recently. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you please, Mapu, now that nobody listen, can you click there? No, the other, the other. Be Maristan. I mean, by Maristan. Explain to the, the men, please, that explain to doing? the people. It, please explain to the people what that tech does. Let me open the game. I think it's a monk tech. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it does something to the monks. Let me open the gate, man. The, the, the gate, no, the game. <laughs> I, I, I don't honestly, know, man. I, have, I, I think it, disaster, people are man. saying it. If we can trust, if we can trust our viewers, which come to us for wisdom, I think it it might have something to do with the healing here. So Yadviga yeah. continues to push forward with the galleons and the monks. Oh my God. But I mean, we've got so much happening, man. This is insanity yeah. right now. And you know about the topic we were mentioning now. I'm back into the battle soon. The viewers can be happy. We don't fool them. If we don't know, we don't know. Hey, Tristan, yes, we don't lie to anyone. We're always here. honest. We don't know, we don't know, you know? Look at now, Hazards, Galleons, played by the number. And as you mentioned, I want to point out this again because the whole thing of this tournament is really a lot about the hidden thing, right? And if this is MBL, which we don't know 100%, and I really think he's playing like him, Red is pushing him back. And he's doing a yep. crazy job here with the trebuchet as now. well. For now, it, for now, for now, there's yeah. more cannon Galleons. Oh, the Spanish cannon Galleons are back there. The demos are going to connect on the fires and clear most of them. That's the problem right now, is fast fires will die to demos. And But, you know, the, yeah, I'm but... still not ready to give up on Otto the Great's chances if he has the gold member. He's got 45 on gold. His opponent has zero on gold right now. True, but Red is doing something great, and he still have the market, the Sarsis market that is still working great. Look at the resources he's getting for selling and the raiding with the Hazards. He's trying to fight with the bullies, but he didn't notice that he never receives the supremacy. Those bullies do nothing against the Hazards. Yeah, that's a good point. He probably thinks because supremacy was clicked that it is working for him. It is not. Again, 50 on gold. Against zero on gold right now, I think the key for Yadviga is to continue to raid the main eco, which he's doing, but he can't look away from the middle either because the monks converting the ships, the cannon galleons and the fires, they could still find their moments, and more and more stone being purchased by Otto the Great to build up Bombard Towers on this gold area. I mean, th this is insane. Yeah, but Tristan, 
uh, check the economy for blue. He only have gold miners, like no farmers, N no farmers yeah. at all. Lumberia is also very low. So at the end, if you have 60 farmers and also Sarnes' market and you keep raiding and pushing, you might take back the gold eventually. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I think the this key is better here... for red right now. I agree. The, the key for red is you continue to raid with Hussars, but you never lose your galleon mass. So, um, and for Otter the Great, he he will only be able to stop the raids from being a factor if he kills that galleon mass. That Hussars killed ten villagers right there. Yeah, then I he, think he doesn't notice. Sorry, sorry to you know we're both so excited here. I really think a key here for Otto is because he's struggling. Is a couple cheeky demos. You have to try and land one demo on those galleons. So you have fast fires in front, and if you can get a demo in the middle there and kill half of them, maybe then you've got a chance. But there's just Hussars everywhere right now. And Tristan, he really has no resources. He's buying now resources with the gold because he has no wood, he has no food. He just bought it, the, the halberd deal. Look at this, he's buying wood. Like, yeah. like crazy, and buying food as well. He has no echo now, Blue. It's crazy. And the score difference, 4K score difference, the Kazas are coming. Someone is telling and maybe thinking, oh, is that not the best micro here? Red, I think Red is doing an incredible game, in my opinion. Yeah, Red, a great job. Great game. job. I mean, I'm not Red hasn't gold. had gold for 10 minutes. Red is exactly. no gold, no relics, no gold income. So winning the game without gold is not going to be easy. We see Skirm tech now. That's good. And I, I just think right now for Otto, he has to... The Halb is a good tech because he needs the Halbs to clear up the Hussars. Because otherwise, he's not going to have villagers left anymore. Yeah, but it's good also that Red is now uh, upgrading now at least Kermit. He's going with here with the Rams. One thing very important for Red. He has to have a lot of stone. Eventually, if he's not doing castles, he might sell in that stone. You get a thousand gold easily. Yeah. With, yeah. with that, with the Sansa's market. So it can be do, doing the job. Check the population. Incredible game, ladies and gentlemen. Red player, Jadwiwa, that we don't know who it is. We're guessing that can be Tato on Aya, but he's getting the game. He's almost double the population, Tristan. Double the population. Yeah, I agree. And, and he's just he's just calmed it down in the middle, and he's keeping his galleons alive, and he says, fine, have your gold, bro. Have your gold. I'm going to raid you from the sides. And this is such... Incredible thinking, man. It is so easy to panic when you're out of gold and think, I need to, I need the gold now. And then if you don't get it, your opponent stabilizes on the sides. But instead, he's taken the sides. And now I think he might even be making a little bit push towards the middle again with those galleons. Dang, what man. Did it make me, it, what made me think that it maybe not 100% Tatot is that Tatot would have done, in my opinion, probably something else in game one. You know, for how Tato uh -huh. can play. You yeah. know, so uh, we have to see all the pros and cons, right? And uh, yes. it's difficult. I don't know if you agree with that as well. I, I agree. I think Tato would have gone for the like the side siege workshops that Yadviga's done in the north. That's the type of thing that Tato has done a lot of. So what we're seeing right now is very Tato-esque to me, but I agree. Not sure about the other elements just yet for him, but... It is a great player. I mean, all the players are so good. And it's a player who's got to be able to survive against a player who's as chaotic as out of the grade. I mean, this is going to be a heartbreaker. I think, you know, even if we're not even talking guesses here, I think that people want to watch, they want to cheer for the heroes that produce the best games. And right yeah. now, Yadiga I, and yeah. out of the grade are producing some epic, epic games. Very nice. And Tristan, I think this is going to be the Hidden Cup edition hardest to make the prediction for, for one reason. Uh, the hold on, hold on, Mem. The highest than ever. Mem, What's look that? at the population, look at the score lead, look at the score difference, and look ACCM? who hasn't resigned yet. ACCM? Ooh. Ooh. It's a I mean, NBL 70? is try hard, but is this, is this try hard? Is this try hard? <laughs> is close to 6,000 resources. He actually, on a 5K, ACCM vibes as well. Oh my God! <laughs> what is this, 60, man? Oh, yeah, yeah, Seventy yeah. population for out of the gray, and out of the gray continues to fight. And when I think fight at this point, I'm not necessarily thinking MBL. Who knows? It's a big tournament. There's a lot of different things. Obviously, every player's got the things we meme on a little bit. But yeah, unfortunately well, for Auto, Auto is dead. Yeah, Blue keeps keep thinking. I still have 
in quotes the middle, right? Because he has castles, yeah. bombard towers, he has halberdiers, he sees that his opponent is coming mainly with hussars, so he's thinking, well, with bullets and halves, I can still do the job. But man, it's 73 population. Do you think NBL will stay with this population in the game as well? I, I could see anyone doing it, honestly. Like, like it, it's okay. very easy for us to say it, but like, you're you're fighting. I mean, his 70 pop is a little extreme, man, but a lot of times when players yeah. drop down to 130, people call the GG. This is a big moment. This has been a crazy series. There's still resources to produce vills. There's still halves to kill hussars. You still have four relics. So, you know, he hasn't lost a ton of ground yet. I, I don't know. I don't want to be too harsh here to whoever Otto is for not calling it when it could be the most important moment of their entire career, right? I, I think they should fight if they think they've got a chance. Yeah, it's complicated. I was telling you the point that uh, it's going to be the hardest hidden. Oh my God, good nice by the boom, but now it's kind of useless, right? But um, look at the names that are not qualified in the in the event. Names that yeah. back in the days, not so long ago, Nikov was considered by everyone top eight for many. You know, he's not even there. Kapoch, Dogao, how many names are not in the in the tournament, right? So Beleza, the level is that's another one insane. that comes to mind. Vileze, Vileze, you know, like, whoa, you know? Okay. Big names that okay. have been always is... in, in, yeah. Man, this is ACCM territory. This is, <laughs> I, it's too I much. take it all back. This is too much, yeah, I, you know? I, it, I take it, it, it all it's back. Too much, you know? Okay, it's, NBA, it's ACCM versus Mr. Yo now. Because he's also not tattooed, you know? <laughs> you know? ACCM versus Mr. Yo, you know? And they keep fighting here for forever, for tomorrow. Guys, Mr. Yo versus ACCM. Let's go. <laughs> 80 I mean, this is not normal, man. It's, well, he's recovering, Tristan. He's, now 80, he's doing a town center. Mapo, please. He's rebuilding. He's rebooming. I'm, oh, oh, really? <laughs> he just, he just he, bought stone okay. for more bills. We have to appreciate the fight. We have to salute Otto the Great for the fight. This okay. is not Otto, Otto the Good. This is Otto the Great we're talking about here. So Otto the Great <laughs> is going to fight like a fighter does, okay? And, uh, well, Yadviga is is very close to just taking all the middle um, away from him. But, I mean, the population's gone up for Otto. His opponent hasn't killed him yet, so he figures, let's keep going. And, and Tristan, uh, um, not having the supremacy is a big change in this game, man. Eh? Yes. Because he has been trying a lot of things with the villains he thinks he has. And he doesn't have that upgrade. And it's huge for the moment of the game that it happened. That upgrade, it gives you a lot. Really, really a lot. But guys, auto the great, and we are not joking. We are not trolling. We are not fooling you. No, no, no. He's 100 population. And you might say, oh, man, he's half the population. But two minutes ago, it was 70. He's recording. Yeah, it was man. like, it was, it was in the yeah. 60s, dude. It was in the 60s, yeah. actually. So. Echo KD. Tristan, check the Echo KD. Blue has killed 12 <laughs> villagers. 12 villagers to Jadwiga. Well, he lost 234. If this is not ACCM, who else could be? Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I still could see, like the thing about a lot of players is this, this matters so much to them, right? And like yeah. NBL, my, I could see MBL sitting here like, man, I got to my supremacy. I got to bombard towers. I was so, I had all the gold. I was so close. Like sometimes there's this self-defeating aspect or frustration aspect. Like, man, I should have done better. And it doesn't, you don't want to give up hope. You want to keep thinking it can be possible for me here. But finally, Yadviga has made some progress through the middle. Uh, there's just red GG. everywhere. And the GG is called... And what a game. We actually have a capital GG with an extra character for anyone who really wants to hunt and see who would say oh, that. But Mem, we come got on, the please, audio Dad. fixed. Listen, we yeah, got yeah, yeah. the audio fixed. The game was fantastic. Oof. It was the best game of the series. It is 2-1. And there's no doubt in my mind that Otto the Great can turn it right around and tie it up in the next game because of how good these two are. Oh, my God. That, that, that was... Absolutely while they the not having the supremacy. But you see, during during one game, how many things can happen? We have been telling 90% of the time, oh, it's NBL. Oh, it's NBL. It's NBL. Then we finish the yep. game. 
It's not, cannot be NBL, cannot be NBL. It is not NBL anymore. You versus ACC, <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> we are here, game number four, and Otto the Great had a very messy, a very crazy game that did not bring a victory, unfortunately, in game number three. Uh, Otto the Great falls now to his home map, Arabia. We have Yadviga playing as the, the Vietnamese. We've got Otto the Great as the Byzantines and Memp. Uh, thoughts on the Civ matchup? I don't know if we've seen this that frequently. Don't think so. We have seen it. I think both civilizations are nice, but I would say that in a 90% of the matchups where you see the Byzantines, I always favor Byzantines because they have everything. It's true they that do. the actual Vietnam have some great economy a bonus, you know? Uh, but Jadwiga is going for the lame, but he finds the, the scout. Anyway, he's not going to lame anymore. It's going to be some battle. It will go back. Do you prefer Byzantines uh, same as I do or not? I think if you if we have like the a player who is extremely optimal for Arabia, they can make the best use out of the Vietnamese eco. So um, yeah. some of the best Arabia players in, in this tournament, I would say, would be like uh, Viper, Leary, Hera. I would actually even throw Hart in there. I honestly think even though the Hart meta? came through from the qualifier, the, yeah, the, the meta, meta on the Arabia... Meta yeah, they're so, so crisp and clean with their timings. And then with those types of players, I go Vietnamese. But with, if it's not those types of players, I go Byzantines because Byzantines can allow you to make some mistakes. And if, the, if everything's not perfect, Mem, the Byzantines are just so tough to break. So yeah, I agree. I don't mind the Byzantines here at all for out of the great. And do you feel that we are in these matchups with those kind of the clean players? I don't know 100% after the games that we have seen. It has been a little bit of a chaotic games, kind of mess, yes. you know? And that's why I think Byzantines in this chaos can shine. I, I agree. I mean, Otto made like 15 Spearmen in Feudal in the previous game. So <laughs> Otto is going to love cheap Spearmen. Like, this is, yeah. Otto is living yeah. the dream already. Um, yet Viga, this is a player who I'm not too sure on, right? Because game number one was hard for me to get a lot of tells. And then game number two and game number three, I, I'm still not sure what caliber player we're looking at. Some people were saying Tato, some people saying like, yo. Um, so I think this will actually tell us a lot about Yadviga as a player, because a player like Tato is extremely aggressive on Arabia. So yeah, um, we'll we do have that. Now, I want to bring up, um, well, <sighs> I'm not sure if I should. Ne never mind, ma'am. I have a point that we have a video later on a specific thing that play uh, viewers can look for in Hidden Cup. Don't and spoil. The video is Don't spoil. the video is after this series, so <laughs> I'm I'm gonna shut up for now. I uh, just say there will be more details on what okay. you can look for <laughs> for the players. Don't here. spoil. Don't spoil yourself, <laughs> yeah. Tristan. My goodness. Okay, <laughs> the maps though. If we go to the maps, Tristan, I prefer blue map. With the two wood lines at the back, goal at the back. Yeah, the berries are in front, but he has already two houses. And then if we go to red, he has the most wood in front. So yeah, yeah back yeah. here, Mapo, I like it. I blew map, I think is better. And now look at this. All forward there. The goal is forward. You can wall between those two wood lines, but I like a little bit more for the Byzantines. And remember, Tone was for free. Yeah. I, I think um the back stone can be really nice here for Yadviga though. Uh, and the stones are more forward for Otto. So that is the one thing I'd say. But yeah I, yeah, I think like this version of Arabia is fairly mild compared to w other versions. So I, I don't think, I mean, I hope, obviously you always hope that the maps aren't gonna make too big of a difference. I, I think that these maps, they got plenty of wood lines, they've got resources and they've just got to decide on now how they're gonna play this. Okay, for now we see how the uptime, I mean, the uptime, Tristan, now, can we say is fast? We have seen even 17 plus, 17 po population going up. So going now 19, 20 is kind of standard. Yeah, this is a rare occurrence here to see Byzantines here on Arabia. But in the main event of Hidden Cup, we added more bands. So I think civilizations that would have been seen more frequently on, on other maps uh, might have been banned out. But maybe, maybe a, a sign, though, if... Byzantines have almost exclusively been played on other maps. Maybe a sign that Otto just sees the game differently than other people. Yeah. Okay. But let's see what is... Oh, he's exploring now the barrack. Well, expected to be there. And... Um... 
Mm. Do you think that it's going to be a scout? Because it's supposed to be the path, uh, uh, fix it, you know, the path in a little bit oh. better, more than fix it, you know? Or you will go Arches. I would love to see Arches, but I feel that the scout is still being the main meta here. Even yeah. more when you go that think... quick up. There you go. They're far apart, right? So you want to use the mobility. Vietnamese, the, the, the best strategy you can go for for your economy is a scout build, and Vietnamese have such good economy, so it just makes a lot of sense. And it's going to be scouts as well here from Otto. So Byzantines don't have any bonuses to work with right now beyond the vision. Um, the spearmen that are being queued up, I mean, come on, three spearmen in queue, this is, this is MBL confirmed, but... But the spearmen that are being queued up is obviously uh, cheaper, but Vietnamese have the faster researching eco upgrades. Everything feels very smooth for them. And Byzantines, it's all about Castle Age, Mem. So if they are, are alive in Castle Age, they're one of the best civs. If they fall apart in Feudal Age, that might not be the case here. Yeah, but uh, you know, if she's your partner is going to scout, you have the tone watch, and then you are going to spam the spears. You only need to be slowly walling yourself so they shouldn't fall apart as as they are very strong to defend, you know? So let's see what's going to yeah. happen. For now, he's going to take a villager there, probably. Uh, he should go back or he should just commit and take the villager. Nah, he's going back. He's going to go back. Okay. You know, ma'am, that, that made me think, ooh, actually, yeah, the scouts are coming in. I'm wondering if we're going to see any quick walls on these individual villagers because we haven't seen a lot of big quick wall highlights in this series so far. Villagers are None. going to still fight back. The Spearman Probably. is here. And out of the great defense, just in time. Yeah, don't think we have seen any, actually. Good point. You know, I mean, we have spears, not seen dude. at any Look. moment. What happened? <laughs> Look at the... We got Spearman in the north for Otto. We got Spearman at home yeah, for Otto. Over. We got, all like, over. random Spearman wandering around for Otto. <laughs> I, well, if we put his fall of war, we, had... we will see. Yeah. I wish we had like Auto the Great merch and I could just toss on an auto t shirt right now because this is just so, it's just so random. I love it. Oh, yeah, man. He's just spamming that. Well, he, he see that his opponent is just going the scouts as well. He's trying to be aggressive. Uh -huh. A lot of farming he has. Three scouts, seven spears, Tristan. Seven spears he has already. I mean, they are cheap, but they still cost, they still cost something, right? So, uh -huh. oh my God. So many units he has right now, but not doing yet any damage. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, the positive here for Otto is, while, while nothing's been killed, it's the same on the other side. Yadviga has actually brought the scouts home, so Yadviga is playing reactive, and we do have a quick wall there. Could be a trap. Ooh. Oh, wow, interesting. Okay, man, I have to spoil it. I have to spoil this right now, the thing I was going to say before. The majority okay, you of high level take players, yeah. I couldn't take it because it's so relevant right now. The majority of okay. high level players, as we see this villager get sniped and, and scouts getting attacked and the forward spearmen actually kind of paying off. Okay, the majority of players with low numbers of scouts and archers are using box formation. And there is really three players that do not do it. I'm going to have a video on this later. Three players that do not use box formation on low numbers of scouts is, is doubt is Yo and MBL. And I'm looking at these scouts and neither player is using box formation when they move around. So I'm really like racking my brain here. Let's see. With Okay, the, actually the scouts are boxed now. You see how they're boxed I need the ACM up? there. Yeah. I need it. Yeah, oh, that no, was. I don't think that's the box formation. I don't I don't know, but I'm just, oh, people, no. I got to stop thinking about it. I, I can't shut up about it here. <laughs> Okay, Let, let's see what's going to happen now. Those scouts are going to be down two scouts, actually. But he still has more army. He's doing well Barrow already. He has good economy, both with double with us and Horse Collar. And both players are going to be fully walled. This game is going for castles. And uh, like we were talking, Jadwiga yeah. is having very good resources with this beautiful economy wow. that uh, Vietnam get. And he's going to go up to castle quicker than his opponent. Much quicker, he seems. Yep. I don't know. I agree. I agree. It's really good uptime. It'd be a perfect situation to maybe consider something like Cav Archers. So, uh, you know, the, the dream for Vietnamese on Arabia these days, Mem, is the Scout Rush into Walls, into Cav Archers. And I think, even though the Scouts just went down there, I do think that Cav Archer play could be pretty good here. Even a couple Archers could be helpful right now against some of these Spears. 
Okay, let's see what is going to be the, the, the transition. Um, I'm just thinking, man, he's crazy. You know, uh, I always focus, man, you got finally hidden cap into me because usually I focus <laughs> mainly on, on the map, the game and so on. But I'm thinking all the time in the small yeah. details to see who they can be. And I'm getting annoyed myself because I don't know, you know, and I want to know, you know, but I, then I will analyze when the round one finish. I don't know. It's so complicated. I think Mr. I know. Christa. I Tell actually, me. I am so confident. Like, I want to bet my existence on who these players are, man. I think this is Yo against MBL right now. I feel very strongly. No, I, but, but, so all the Indonesian ACCM can be 7,000 behind, and now there's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole. He's going to wall in time or not? He's going to make a gate. You need to focus there. Oh, oh, no. Gate, gate. No. Oh, no. Oh, this is no so wall. bad for Yaniga. Oh, no. Mem, there's la, houses la, la. everywhere. Like he walled yeah. everything else, and he never took that. What a horrible moment for Yadviga. Yeah, man. Well, and not another quick wall there, so we can say who they are not, right? Yeah. So it's pretty obvious who they are not. I'm not mentioning anymore. It's still, <laughs> Otto the Great is far from going up yet. I mean, he is floating 500 resources, but still a little bit. Uh, Far, he has a scout deck. At the end, uh, Tristan, he lost only one village. So it's not a, the biggest deal. And he's losing most Agreed. of the scouts. And you don't want to lose them. Yeah. Oh, he nice, wallet Nice ball there nice. from Yadviga because of the overchop. But I mean, at this point, like, if you're red, you want to be in Castle Age pressuring the opponent. Now, you've lost your scouts. You're scared to move out with your archers because you could run into more army from the opponent. So as long as Otto the Great can just keep that archer army from Yadviga in the middle of the map, for a little bit longer. I, I think the later Castle Age is not going to be too horrible for Otto. No, and also we have to remember, guys, that the buildings from Byzantines are with more HP as well. So even Palisades, everything yeah, is yeah, going to be harder, yeah. harder to pull it down, which is probably not going to happen. We'll see. It's true that the Krovos are happening, but he has the archers. As you mentioned, he's oh. attacking and getting... Oh, with a snipe there with those archers. Now, yeah. Otto the Great is still in a fine, in a really, really fine position, and with Will Barrow. So his five is ahead, and Will Barrow, he's completely fine, Tristan. Yeah, we need to see, uh, really need to see the uh, fortifications for Otto right now, because these are going to be crossbows with Bodkin, and he cannot deal with that. So here comes the army. It's a small army, but he's pretty well fortified. We've got houses coming up behind some of the weak areas. Maybe the overchop could happen there. We'll keep an eye out, but. Oh, that's I how think... is weak. I think he should be okay against an army of only eight crossbow. If it's like 15, those units are going to yeah. break through, but it's not going to be that large. And then Yadviga just drops a TC at home. We're going to see a boom. And we are going to see a pretty long Arabia game here, man, it feels like. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they are very equal right now. Population is even ahead for Otto the Great. And remember that now he could spam whatever. He's spamming schemes already. Schemes are so cheap. Really, really cheap. Resources for Otto the Great are, are, are fantastic. He can make, what, two extra TCs? Maybe one TC extra with the least skirmishes and all the upgrades as well. I didn't even ballistic here. Look at the gold he has. He's buying even food here. So Blue is in a very good position here with the with the Byzantines. And please, Mapu, can you put the forward war for Blue and people will see that you can't see everything because now they get Tone Patrol. So you cannot surprise Byzantines anymore. With, yeah, with, with Blue. and... Yeah, just look. There's a, you see everything. Yeah, yeah, and it's just like what we said with Byzantines. You want to you wanna play chill. You want to play relaxed. And then if you make it to this stage of the game, normally you're in a pretty good position. Elite Skirm upgrade will be in. I just want to point out that Otto the Great has made more spears and more skirms than any other player in Hidden Cup 5 so far. Lots of counter <laughs> units. And those skirms are going to find the crossbows, and then the crossbows on the other side are going in and also microing against Yadviga here. So really nice position. I think for Otto the Great, if he can just continue to pressure the front of uh, Yadviga's map, Yadviga could actually have some real issues here. Yeah, he did also the siege. I didn't notice, but he's doing a mangrel. And as we were talking, Otto the Great, he's gonna have a list. If a list is here, he's gonna be sick. He has the kill advantage, and if he clean these archers, he's gonna he's gonna make a lot of damage. I know that he has the mangrel, but those units with ballistic as well, with some good micro, as you mentioned, Otto the Great is gonna be in a really strong and important position. But mm -hmm. has already the second tone center as well. So yeah, well, let's see. But the problem, the problem is the army numbers, uh, Tristan. Look at the army numbers. 
Seems safe. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, it, it, it is a real concern, but that could change here, man. We could have a big attack round, and he didn't notice it. <gasps> Did Otto notice it? Otto notices it it's now. Just awesome. Oh, man. And Otto gets oh, underneath man. it, next to it, and kills it. Brutal stuff there for Yadviga. Oh, man. And now with Ballistics I know in them, it's going to be a I, full clear yeah. on these crossbows. I know you're going to tell me no because of, you know, but why not send in the manual there that you know that the army is there with patrolling? I'm asking you. Mm. Uh, because patrol, well, the, I mean, the answer is, the answer is yeah. because patrol with siege is weird, but I agree that that hurts so bad. I think a patrol there could have saved him and maybe the siege would have paid off. But now it is Otto the Great who's 2-1 down here in a commanding position. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, but Tristan, it's weird against knights, but against this army, it's okay. And you know that he's yeah. there, you know? Yep. He, he just lost all the initiative there because if he kill all that army, it would be a lot closer even still. He has more villages there. No will borrow, but now... Auto the Great with 31 army and even the plus two armor with ballistic. How'd you stop that? Remember, so I speculated difficult. on box formation a little bit. And I said, I said, yo, MBL and doubt. Doubt? All, it, is a, it is a meme that people make. He is, he is known sometimes for maybe not having the best of micro compared to some of the other top talents. It's maybe something to think about there, but certainly Yadviga right now is just so far behind with control. It's going to need the Siege, man, to make all the difference here. Okay, let's hit the Siege. He need, he has oh, micro, need micro, third. micro, okay. micro. Okay. Ooh. And suddenly, I am uh, rethinking my doubt comment. <clears throat> yeah. Nice split micro, micro there from there. Otto. Yeah. Uh, and very nice that we got against the Ballistic. So he was doing a good job. He's losing a couple of abilities there. But there's a lot of action going on. Like... It's so difficult here. The multitasking is the, in this game is really, really, really insane. You know, it's really insane. <laughs> okay. There's the uh, okay. there's the doubt hero. Yeah. The, the doubt hero emote. <laughs> oh man, yeah, okay. Vega lost the uh, lost villagers on that wood line, man. Been. Uh, you, you, you think? I'll you think I can focus? But you think I can focus with this kind of emotes that you put me there? The production, I cannot focus constantly <laughs> like this. I mean, seriously, I, man. <laughs> there's, I have Go so on. many emotions right now, and I'm sure it's obvious to viewers. I don't know if viewers feel it too, but I just, these games have been so good. The, the guessing has been too tempting. The series has been too fun, and I'm just, I'm in my happy place right now, man. I'm happy you're here with me, and I'm hoping that we get more games from this series. And it, right now, it feels like Otto is going to tie it, it up. Failed, it I, failed. I mean, it failed. Yeah, it just yeah. seems so tough for Yadviga. And also, to stop in this position, this. Tristan, in this position, Tristan, sorry that I interrupt you, is like um, Byzantines have to shine because you can still do an army, a little bit of that army. They are 25% cheaper camels and skirmishers. And then you only need yeah. 640 to go to Imperial. With that transition, this is a game for Otto the Great to lose more than a, a game for Jet. We were to win, in my opinion. I agree. I agree. Uh, Otto is also doing the really smart things, getting as many relics as possible, and looking at different areas of the map. Look at this micro. Look at this split micro from Otto the Great against the Siege. Beautiful confidence. You know a player is good when they run towards the Siege map. It's not like some players, they're able to run away from the Siege and split. But he said, I don't care about your siege right there. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what is gonna what is gonna happen there now. Uh oh. Yeah. He just, he's doing siege or shot forward. So he's very confident. He knows that he has the, the the advantage with the army. He's coming with knights. He's coming yeah. now with a lot of army. I, I like what he's doing. Because in this situation, you could say, okay, I'm gonna be play greedy. No, he's still doing army, he's still going with the with the big boom. And yep. I think this is the right call here. Look at the score. Yeah. Ooh. Just blow it now. I, I now it, it, a lot of people were probably like, okay, well, what can red do here? So you can defend with siege when you're in your walls, but to move out now, you need to have some knights mixed in as well for some of these skirms. So this is actually really good. Like double mangonel, double knight with the crossbow. This is a solid army. And Otto the Great was going to push the other hill. So I, I do think that maybe Yadviga could start to take some better fights. But the problem is, man, it's like every time you go to move out, every time you think you're in a good spot, you're going to have another army coming in from this freaking auto guy. 
who is going to have something on your wood line or something, some type of a push in the form of siege on the front. Yeah, it's true. And he's coming. As you can see, he's trying to put him away from there. But no, the mangrel is coming. He cannot see it. And now the mangrel is going to take some village. There you go. One down. Krobos and Skirmish is careful with that mangrel. But take it. No, he didn't take it. Man, they are on point. Tristan, they are really not anymore. He take now that mangrel. And because they are fighting on the left as well. There's a yep, lot going yep. on. He's trying to kill the mangrel. And now, as we were talking, he's on the way to Imperial. How do you counter now the Imperial Age here? And look at this TC. Like, he's he's town centering right by this fight right now. Very interesting decision here from Otto. Again, I, I do not know who Otto is. I mean, obviously, I, I have strong feelings it might be a couple players here. But it's just crazy to see these plays. The Siege Micro from Otto is ridiculous here on the hill. And then he Micros again. And we see a split from Yadviga. Both players continue to shine here, man. That was insane micro from both of them. Yeah, yeah. They are microing really well both. Like, you cannot tell completely, okay, one is outplaying the other. I really think it's really come to the previous battle with that mangrel. He fall kind of behind with the army because both are having similar population. He's doing a castle on top of that hill. But the problem is that Byzantines, for how strong they are and what we say a couple of times during this game, He's just taking that lead because check the resources for Jadwiga. It's close to go up to Imperial, but Byzantines, it has a 33 yeah. discount, 33% discount. And that's really the difference here, uh, Tristan. Could see a big shot here, man. Could see a big shot yeah. because that mango coming out of the Siege Workshop, it, it needs to be used fast. It needs to be used fast. There it is. He Ooh. takes out one mango and that's worth it for him. Imp is on the way now for Jadwiga. We have a castle in the north of the map for Otto the Great, who has four of the five relics, as well as an amazing wow. build count, man. Uh, this wow. is crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, having the four relics as well, when you are fighting and several fight, you really need to have a great macro on map control. The castle is going to be there. And now doing the plus three and chemistry probably right away. Take the resources. Tristan, he has. Crazy yep. economy. He could go up to Imperial again if he wanted. You know, plus <laughs> three chemistry. Yeah, post Imperial upgrade. You know, he, he gonna need it. Yeah, I mean, now you clean everything. I think we go for game number five with a two-two. There you go, GG Cole, Otto the Great, greatest than ever in this series, probably right because he dominated here with the beautiful Byzantines. It's it's really what strong series? civilization. If you get if you get uh, Tristan disadvantage, this kind of advantage. Get what a throw. series. I mean, what a fun series nice. we have. I mean, think about what how the series has played out. If you watched game number one, we had the really unique difference of approach on a closed map. Then we had the hybrid map on evacuation into the the crazy, crazy action game number three on cup with all the water and the land combo. Here's straight land. This is good, too. I mean... I, we don't know who these players are. I did say I would bet my life that it was someone, and I am now fearful for my life because I'm second guessing myself. But it's two two. <laughs> we have uh, we have slopes, well, and mud flow available on Otto's side, and then we have Yadviga still with Bay uh, as a home map. So let's hop into game number five. This would be the choice of Yadviga here, and it is going Ooh. to be Bay. So for game five, we have a map which produced a banger yesterday, and this is the final home map remaining actually for Yadviga. So if this does go, well, when this moves to game six and potentially game seven, uh, this would be then on Otto the Great's remaining home maps. Uh, we have Italians for Otto the Great. We then have Lithuanians for Yadviga here. Two sieves that I could see having different bonuses, man. But, but talk about the map. What do you think about the map that is named Bay. I love, I, I have fallen in love with this map more and more. I wasn't, a, I'm gonna be honest with you, Sims is a, one of those maps that is amazing, you know, but mm -hmm. um, has been in the hidden cap forever, right? This one. Yep. And yep. Uh, I think this is a great map because even with the water or losing the water, better say it, it doesn't have to snowball necessarily. We saw it yesterday, actually, you know. The player who lost uh, the water won the game, you know, mm -hmm. and he has a lot of options and it brings some really good games. So um, I, I like this map a lot and I really think that the Italians here is better than Lithuanians. Okay.
Well, what about if the Lithuanian player goes forward with two villagers and wants to villager rush and lame, which is something that we saw a certain Norwegian do during the qualifier in three or four straight games? If this yeah, but, is but MBL, you say the Lithuanians, you say the Lithuanians, oh, it's the Italians, the one it's who Italian. is going forward, which is crazy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what happened, man? I mean, stop being excited, Tristan. It's Italians going forward with the two villages, you know? So it's not MBL, you know? <laughs> I just assumed. I'm sorry. You know, I, I mean, well, you know, it, it's, it's Italian, you know, and he's going forward. Okay. So now what do you have to say about that? I'm sorry. Well, Mamma mia. It's, it's not something like going for the villager rush is not good for your own economy. What is he? But yeah, he, sh he should on. know. He should know to be careful here. He doesn't want his opponent to know about this. He wants to kill villagers on the wood. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Okay. This is awkward. Hello, Jadwiga. Welcome. We are villagers too, and we would like to work at your economy. Man, I, oh, I hate this tournament goodness. now, Tristan. I'm sorry. I mean, this is back to be NBL again. I mean, who is doing this kind of strategy, <laughs> seriously? Now it's NBL again. I mean, oh, man, I hate Hidden Cup. No, don't invite me anymore, Tristan. <laughs> okay. You know, uh, I mean, what is this, man? This, this cannot well, be anyone else. It has to be him. It no? It has to be MBL. It has to be. 110% confirmed. I'm back okay. to betting my life on it. Now, it's tricky because maybe this is a strategy that people practice, man. Maybe this becomes the meta, but like, you know, he's just straight up walling in the gold, and the opponent's going to have to go so far to get gold otherwise. So, not only that, you know, players that. are not it, used it, to this. Players don't know what to do. They If they practice MEMB, a million and one games, they probably would never have this happen unless they practice against NBL. Exactly. So you um, don't know what to do when this happens. And you see why NBL doesn't practice? He doesn't need to practice. He said, the maps that I don't practice, I go this. I go make this, <laughs> these things. Yeah, yep. I mean, who is prepared? Who is prepared against this kind of approach? Yep. I mean, just put yourself playing this map because you want to practice your map of your tournaments and then you get someone th that is doing that against you. What did you I do would, now? Because I would say if what... I was practicing, like if I, if I had this, if I had Auto the Great as a practice partner, <gasps> oh, I would say, oh, for rest. Wh why are you doing this? This is a waste of time for my practice. That's what I would say. So okay. I, I think that this is something that Auto the Great has in him which is special to whoever they is, but we should mention that resources collected is way higher for the player who didn't have two villagers walk around the map, who already added oh the dock God. and already added the fishing ships. Way higher? No. 500 resources more in yeah. seven minutes? Oh, man. Well... Two fishing ships as well. We also, Yadviga, just ignored it. Uh, is going to go out to the other gold. And what's kind of funny here, Mem, is every resource right now at uh, Jadwiga's main base has out of the great houses next to them. <laughs> we, have, we have the two houses there. We've got the walls there and the two houses there. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something in this situation. Reds will destroy them, the houses. Oh, he's with villagers, maybe? Right Ooh, now. it's an interesting idea. Uh, 100%. Especially if it's MBL. They, they die. Especially if it's yeah, MBL. I mean, yeah, I mean, but really, they get destroyed in what? In 10 seconds, if you send two, three villages, you take them, and mm -hmm. he's going to be housed. And he's dark age forever now. I will go take them. Yeah, he's doing it. Oh, my God. Oh, this is pro we are professional That's really customers. smart. Uh, really? It, 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 would you have to do that? Mem. You need to kill the houses. Mem. Really? What type? Who? I think the type of player who thinks about that is a player who might play a lot of Black Forest with you, honestly. And remember, I was thinking maybe Yadviga oh could be someone like Marls. If you call me Black Forest guy again, I'm going to be practicing forever, you know? I'm not going to sleep, not going to go to the gym, you know? I'm going to go and gonna, we're going to make a best of 21 so much or whatever, you know? Okay, I, I'm gone. I'm going to practice. Bye-bye, Tristan. <laughs> I mean... If you want to play 11 games against me, man, we could do that. <laughs> I'm just, sorry. That was, that was a okay. little <laughs> But all Black Forest, okay? <laughs> okay. Anyway, jokes aside, 
he took the house. Let's focus, let's focus, Tristan. Let's focus. And we we will have the challenge, you know? I know that you want to kill me. Don't worry. I will give you the pleasure that you can kill me. You will do it. But not during Hidden Cup, okay? <laughs> Too many viewers to see yeah. this, okay? <laughs> anyway, um, 2-2 two, two now. The thing here is, with all this madness, Otto the Great got no damage at all. Idle TC yep. for Jadwiga. And now Otto the Great has a barrack and double dock on the pond. With the double dock, double he might take the dock. fish. Double dock, and yeah. he doesn't see it, Jadwiga. This is crazy. Yeah, Jadwiga sees one of the docks, not both. So far, some of those houses still stand for Otto, but I am concerned. Actually, housing problem there for Jadwiga is Jadwiga is trying to make the first fire galley. What a weird game, dude. I mean, this is game five, so I wonder if at this point Otto's like, I'm not as crisp and as clean as my opponent, and I need to just change the normal meta, and that's exactly what's going to happen. I, I could see Jadwiga losing those fish, but keep in mind that at least Jadwiga's had the fish, right? Otto never had that food income for himself. But I have, I have something to say, and you're gonna feel sad now, Tristan. Okay. Okay. I I will like both players advance, because both yes. lose great to me. You know, and yeah, fun to they're watch. They're so for different fun reasons. to watch. You know what yes. I mean? You know, fun to yes, watch. These series are. Yesterday we saw some great gameplay, some great crazy games. But this is being so fun, this series. And for example, this Dark Age, it looks like nothing happened. Look at Echo KD and KD. And it's still this amazing game to watch till now. So, so much I fun. think it is a you perfect know? combination of styles, man. You have Yadviga, who's yeah. like not the most meta player ever, but is clearly very talented and well-rounded with strategy. And then Otto the Great says, like sees Age of Empires 2 through a completely different lens. And it's just perfect match. It's been the perfect series. And and right now, all this pressure from Out of the Great needs to do something here because those fishy ships for Yadviga still bringing in food. Yadviga has pretty much ignored the chaos so far and is doing completely fine. And the economy is problematic for Out of the Great. I'm very worried. Without fishing ships, like zero fishing ships versus five, it reminds me of the evacuation game where he really yeah. needed some fishing ships. Yeah, that's why I think uh, Otto the Great is going to keep going and pushing, and he's doing that. He's going to try to fight for the water, for sure, and he's doing that. Mm -hmm. But then, I kind of don't understand a lot why the lame. If you want to go for the water, you can go probably smoother with a normal transition to go up, because, well, Lithuanian has the extra food in the start, but Italians can match up that with the discount, with the... Uh, I, I the, think... Time. I think I the answer is it's initiative, right? So, you know, in normal games, yeah. we see, okay, this person's been aggressive, big demos here, uh, and, and players want to take initiative. I think what those two villagers did, or what Otto was hoping for them to do, was to give him initiative so he gets to control how the attacks happen. And in some ways, it Tristan, has, Tristan. because he was the first to attack, but we've got a demo! And man, yeah, ready to totally scream a boom here. Yeah, I, I, not only that, take out the queue for Otto the Great, Five demos in the queue. Well, now four. He's just going full demo, and he has a third dog in the south. It's gonna go wild on water. Crazy. It's not too much as investment. Just There's no balance for this guy. Otto the, Otto the Great is is not balanced in the slightest. Not balanced in his thinking. Not balanced in his gameplay. Not balanced in his strategy. Not balanced in his eco. He's got twenty on wood and five on food. My goodness, here. So but you're Yadvika's telling that holding. he's an unbalanced guy? He's an unbalanced yes. guy? Is yes. What you mean? Okay. Yes, when he when he I'm tries to walk you, forward, you know? when Otto the Great <laughs> tries to walk forward, he just walks in a circle. He's imbalanced. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Oh my. Is this, is, this joke is typical from another cast, you know what I mean? But well, you can keep going. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> Nilly's vibes we got here, you know. If people was missing Nilly, Nilly is back in the house, guys. Let's go. Okay, now with those galleys. Tristan, three dogs, I insist. If he not get in the water, it's uh it's gonna be really bad for, for Otto the Great. Agreed. And he's not really getting My... in the water. Look at this. And the thing the thing about how this has played out is can we look at the, the eco setup at their main ecos? Because like the fishing ships are gonna They've already paid for themselves. They're going to go down eventually. It's 12 to 13 on food for Yadviga, 400 food in the bank. Actually, I take it back. The farming eco has not been great for Yadviga, and it's kind of okay wow. for Otto the Great. So I'm wrong. I am yeah, incorrect yeah. in my assessment. 
We're just too busy looking at all these, you know, these demos in the middle. Finally, and now the he's taking the water. Yeah, now he's taking the water. Now he's taking the water. People might be surprised. There's so much water going on here to fight. Yeah, but the early game is so important. For the later game, it might not matter. But then you can get here a big boost if you have the free boom here. Uh -huh. You need to fight for it because if not, the transition is going to be really wild. If you like that, you can see how the resources now in the bank for Jadwiwa are really, really solid. But can they stabilize? Resources collected in seven minutes. Remember, Tristan, there was five, six hundred ahead for Jadwiga. Now he's getting closer. And Auto the Great will have resources to go up to Castle. It's probably very soon. And the time is going to be and 30 seconds, one minute difference. No more. And Mem, and Mem, not just that. It's archers. We've got archers from Yadviga coming in. There is no defensive army. There is no stone Ooh. for a tower. But he saw it. It was noticed. But Auto the Great noticed it and Ooh. is going to quickly drop some house walls. And that... Well, he, he can't fully wall, but he can keep the archers out for now, thankfully. Nice job from Otto the Great to notice that, because if he didn't notice that, Mem, that could have been game over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was great. It was great. It's not with fletching. Now he's doing the fletching. Uh, fletching matters a lot. And like we were talking, Otto the Great is not going to be behind more than 40 seconds or maybe, yeah, just that, maybe a minute. Remember, you don't need 800 foot. He can click up already. He's not clicking up. Why not? Mm -hmm. He doesn't... There okay, he he's going up now. There you go. It's another Oof. close game. Okay, this so... It's a long game, Tristan. Yeah, it is very close. I mean, there will be fishing ships now for Otto. If Yadviga can't do too much damage with the archers, a couple knights could potentially clear it up. I do like how Yadviga didn't have to sell any stone. I also like how Yadviga has villagers expanded away from his starting eco. Um, just to, to think about TCs elsewhere... Um, like that right there, like that that area, Mem, is so important on this map to expand, yeah. which Otto the Great can't do right now. But man, am I curious True. on who these freaking players are. It's just like, it is MBL. It can't be MBL. <laughs> it is Doubt. It can't yeah. be Doubt. This is Yo. No way it's Yo. This is Bar. Like, my brain is just going a million different directions on who these players are right now. And I am, I'm loving it. This is what Hidden Cup's about. And the quality of the games, like you said, Mem, just so, so good between these two. Yeah, very important. Now that we see the monastery, can we check if they see already some relics? Fog of war from both sides because relics here for Lithuania is going to have the most important impact for sure. So he see one relic and that's it. No more, right? Yep. Wild blue? Mo so nothing. three of the relics, and I hate, I hate to describe it this way because yep. I really don't like the fact that people call this map pants, but three of the relics <sighs> are on the belt. So yeah. that's always how it is. So you always have one relic on both of the legs and then you or like where the pockets would be. And then you have three relics on the belt. So that's the way you think about it with okay. relics on this map. Okay. Since, since you know, since you know Tristan that I usually cast in my channel, right? Now I understand why I see those pants emoticons in the chat. Thank you so much. You could have told me before <laughs> casting together. I love you yeah. too, Tristan. Now I got the context. <laughs> Thank you. After three hours for splitting me the pants. Come on, Tristan, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> we we worked so hard was, on that, and we, I really was I really was like, what is those fans doing there? What what is this doing with the AOE? And now, okay, I got it, man. So noob, this guy. I am. <laughs> Go on. No, Tristan. I didn't know, uh, man. I well, was like, why did he put the pants there? Okay, GG. Let's play the pants. Well, we got we got knights Let's here play. now, and armors in and bloodlines. Now so we'll see if how the crossbow micro looks here for Yadviga. The micro looks very good so far. It did kind of run into the knights as I said that though. And the low numbers of crossbows getting their value, I would say, but will likely get picked off by the two new knights. So nice job there from Otto. Otto is alive, but Otto is only on one TC. And right now, Yadviga is up to three town centers and is starting to spam those villagers. Yeah, Blue is fine. Uh, Blue is, did, did a really good job. The Knights are still all alive. He can now heal them. It's true that he's going really quick for the Relics Red, which is very nice. Can be really good. I wonder if he's going to go Fist Traps even there because they are cheaper yeah. for Italians. And it can be important. If he has the water, why not, right? You can go for a Fist Boom with Italians it there, really. So I spoke, I spoke to uh, some players before the, who aren't in the main event who are really good. And one of them said, I'm really curious what the meta looks like on Bay 
because in 2024, a lot of players will go crazy with fist traps, with fishing ships. Yeah. But that's not everybody in Hidden Cup, right? Like a player yeah. like Barrels or Ganji, the Black Forest guys, they would be doing 100%. it. 100%. I'm not seeing that yeah. from Otto. So uh, it could, if you know the players and, and their, their love of fist traps, like Viper, for example, loves his fist traps. You know, you might want to look for that here. But I'm not, I don't think Otto is that type of player. I really don't. I think Otto is more of a standard player. Yeah, but these Italians, gonna... uh, is Italians, Tristan? Will yeah. make sense yeah. to do them. No? I mean, I, I think so. I agree. Anyway. Well, I think, Fort but DCs. I think, man, he's going to go, right. he's going to fish trap, but he's going to fish trap with the seven fish he has. And then some players will make it. more fishing ships for more fish traps. That's the difference. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, he has the resources to make the, the next TC. He's going to make it or not. He has to probably do it. I think that's a situation shop in the minimap that uh, the fish traps are happening now. And probably that on the left is a situation shop for blue. There you go. Yep. Because his opponent has a lot of archers. But uh, uh, if blue is not doing some damage now, red is going to have a huge economy advantage. Uh, yeah, really. It's four on centers. Yeah, Viga missing yeah, so really, horse collar really really hurts to not have horse color with this many farms it is something that you'll probably see but that is an upgrade that when the game is going to go late you really need to have a bit earlier so that doesn't help for yadviga right now but um two relics four tcs i mean the vill lead should continue to grow for yadviga as the villagers want their gold back, man, but they're <laughs> boxing down the walls right now. <laughs> yeah, is this is this really recorded games? Because uh, you just say it and horse collar, man. Horse collar. He did it wrong. Yeah, well, I, I mean, <laughs> okay. it's, it's definitely it's definitely not. Don't worry, they're not listening to us here. That should know, be an upgrade that they notice. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But the thing is that usually this rarely happen. When we say something, it's happened the opposite. So we're having some... Uh, yeah. Good... Oh, the Mangle is shot there. It's amazing. Whoa, now he noticed a lot. Look at the army numbers. And remember, mobility here matters a lot. What you do here, Tristan? Now that you have seen that you kill it so many, time to push. Because right now, of course, they don't see what we do. But mm -hmm. we know that Otto the Great should do something else or not. If, if this is damage. if this is a player like the way Otto the Great has played this, that is an invitation for Otto to go for a middle siege workshop. Like Otto is probably going to make a bunch more army and really try and control that middle area of the map. Uh, we'll see. Right now, expanding to town centers, uh, taking some more gold and stone with that. But man, what a game! Five TCs. It is a pleasure. Five TCs. Oh my goodness. Five TCs and TCs everywhere, right? Like just spanning all across the <clears throat> the leg um, of the bay here. It's so. I think it's just underrated, man. I think this is underrated. I think yeah. more players on this map should go to like five, six, seven TCs because the game always seems to go late, and you want to protect different areas at all times. Yeah, and then <clears throat> sorry. What civilization do you prefer here? We didn't talk about that, like in the late mm, game. True. Because we saw yesterday lead, uh, Italians versus the Mongols. Honestly, I think Hazars and Genoese Crosswoman, as we saw yesterday, they are insane combination, really. Yeah, yeah, I insane agree. I think, I think Italians with that exact combination are really strong. I think Lithuanian Skirms um, and, and like, I think Halb Skirm hand cannon and you just make your own Hussars, you, you don't put the gold into Knights, could be an idea. Wow, look how fast Yadviga getting all those monks on different targets. Very well played. Otto wow. kills his own monk there. Not only that, that's a lot of Knights not only the how Italian fast the monks, player. Uh, the, the, the Lithuanian player has... This this boom is not normal now. 110 villages, his opponent 87, doing a castle in the middle of yeah. the map. He's going to go up to Imperial. Yeah. He's not going up because he doesn't have the buildings. The, 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 the transition to Imperial is going to be insane. But the beauty from Otto the Great is that he has Italians. He doesn't need a thousand foot. He can just buy and probably blue. He's going to go up to Imperial quicker even than red. Yeah, oh maybe. God, yeah, it's, it's very possible. I think it's actually going to be the, pretty much up, the same, same time, time here, man. Yeah, look yeah. at this. I mean, this is so fitting for this series, man. The fact that it's 2-2. Two -two, yeah. The fact that this series has been so close. The fact that in game five, we would have these imp times is just so incredible to me. Now, on the topic of Genoese crossbow, 
You need the castles for that. And Genoese crossbow produce rather slow. So if you want to go Genoese, you're likely not going to build castles towards the middle. It's going to be more defensive. And we have a, a very centralized castle here from Otto, which to me makes me think he wants to make trebuchets and not Genoese. Yeah, well, he has to. Do, he will have to do it because being the castle yep. there, he need to keep that castle alive. Otherwise, he's gonna have problems because we're talking that we prefer Italians, but as we were telling, uh, with that combo. Otherwise, uh, Lithuanians with how many relics? Well, two relics. It's nothing fancy, you know. It's gonna have maximum plus four. So right now, Lithuanians doesn't have any extra powerful units here. To be honest, I don't know what you think. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, you do have that window. If there's no Genoese, the Knights are do a good job at sniping Trebs, potentially. We have another castle right next to this now for Otto. And stone walls from Otto. This is really smart, man. If you wall this up, the mobility of the calf can't be as much of an issue. And all the attack from your opponent will go right in towards your castles. This is really good. I like it a lot. Two castles in the same spot. He's confident that he's going to have a good uptime, which it's going to be because he's only, only five seconds behind. Ladies and gentlemen, people in the chat, who has the advantage here? Now you have to put the name. Otto or Jadwiga? Who has the advantage? It's so even. Now you have to decide. And we want to see the spam, right, Mr. Tristan? We need yeah. to see the spam. Yeah, who we has the advantage the spam. here? I... Ooh. I don't. I, I, see I don't know. People, like I want to say, I don't know. I want to say Auto, but then I'm seeing all these knights looping their way around, and <sighs> things are still pretty exposed over there. This is tricky stuff, and we will have Yadviga with range units coming out as well, like skirmishers, which could be so good with the Lithuanians. But certainly in the Treb War, it is an advantage right now for Auto the Great, and that's why he went for the yeah. double castle stack. It should be really well, uh, I mean, good things for him as he sees the Knights. He actually gets in close. He starts the conversions. And he will not get any, but he's chasing these Knights away, man. But I don't think these Knights will offer too much for Yadviga right now. No, no, no. I like, I like your viewers, Tristan, because they confuse my... my. Um, I know my English is not the best, but guys, I didn't say who you want to win. You know, I said who has the advantage, <laughs> and they put all the... <laughs> You know, they put all auto, you know, like, I say it was the advantage, man. It's the game is so even, you know, but they want auto to win. It's pretty clear, you know, pretty clear there. Anyway, he's going back now with the trebuchet. The knights are coming. The two castles there in that position is really smart. It's really smart. Ooh, it's really, knows. it's really smart. A bit sloppy there from auto. He did send the treb yeah. too far forward as he was distracted. So that hurts him. But, you know, he's getting more monk upgrades. He's waiting for more Trebs, and these players are going to meet in the middle. Now, I would like to just apologize to these poor deer that are sitting in the middle of this battle. Now, Mapu's like pointing out things that actually feel relevant to the game. But Mapu, please, look to the middle of the... Yeah, I mean, this is their home, <laughs> and they're having a battle right over top of these guys. Look at the Treb shots fly over them. <laughs> I mean, they're probably terrified. You well did, man. They I know you oh, didn't. You don't know what to do bit. with that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to move on, you know, but <laughs> I don't know what to say, yeah. But <laughs> you know, you have good skills because it's very hard to mute me, and you did it, you know. You got me a speechless. I was like, what's happening with the deers, you know? Okay, but now I got it. Anyway, twenty-one. What oh. a hold! What a hold! The ball what a hold? No. are killing the what? crabs. The knights can also Look at the army numbers. this castle. Yadviga is winning this fight, man. The big time, actually. Look at the military numbers. Otto the Great is suffering now. Three castles. Obviously, you can still spam there, but the monks are going to be crucial here. The monks from yep. blue are going to be crucial because he needs to take those bomber cannons down. That castle is just gonna be down almost immediately so basically he lost 650 stone in in what 30 seconds auto and never had don't know what happened here army there no. got nothing. he had like knights that yeah. didn't have many upgrades he had a couple genoese but he needed a bigger massive genoese crossbow and unfortunately for him he didn't have his bomber cannons in position because he has to back them away if he moves them forward they will get converted by the monks there from yadwiga and yadwiga converts another cannon has the skirms has good upgrades. Oh now God. he loses a cannon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's the important part. That's the important part. The monks are crucial here. Tristan, the monks are crucial here. Obviously, those trebles are there. He's gonna lose another castle, but we were talking. Do you need to mass Genoese crossbowman? And right now, the numbers from blue for Otto the Great are really, really low. He's gonna lose that castle for yes. sure. And if you lose the other, his economy, what? He's doing another one at the back. Wow, how much he, he stone he has, the middle. Otto the Great. He's a wow. stubborn, no, stubborn no. Otto here. Otto refuses to give up this middle area. He feels if he loses it, he loses the game. But he is losing ground, and he still needs more. Like, I would really like to see Hussar here. A couple Hussars yep. could Pretty really important. help Sniper Monks. Another thing, monks. Th that Italians got heresy? I don't think they I have. I have no clue. While... I have no clue. I, okay. I, I, it's one of those things, like, I think Italians researching heresy would, would surprise me. But you're right, maybe you consider it if you have the gold. That way your opponent can't get the conversions. It's really expensive though. The castle still needs to stay up. Right now, Otto is trying to just convert his opponent's monks so he doesn't lose the cannons. He's actually done a phenomenal job, but still needs more army than this, man. Just monks. Yeah, he's crazy. Bombard cannons. He's it's crazy. not gonna do it. Yeah, I don't know if we can see, if we can see the conversions done here because I think this is really important. You have to click in that panel, Mapu. I don't know if you know, but if not, you click the panel where the relics are. You click it, and then there's the conversions. 12-12 for both. The monks yeah. are having 12, 12. really big deal here. It's, it's, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, we can go back if you want. And and yeah, but he's pushing there. And with the monks, he's just stopping Otto the Great to take the trebuchet. He cannot use the bomber cannons officially. Remember, bomber cannons that are cheaper for Italians, but useless right now. Yeah, if if Otto can hold this with with some light cav, like like just 10, 15 light cav mixed in, big bomber cannon shots there, I actually believe he can be okay. That castle there defends him, so that night raid will actually lead to very little. His economy is is actually looking better with food behind this. He's making another castle behind this. Wow. Yeah, but I don't he's know how he's not dead yet. Tristan. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Huh? The Trebs needed to advance forward here for Yadviga. Yadviga was maybe distracted with some other things and is finally going to advance forward again with those Trebs. And now the monks are going to be needed again to get conversions on the cannons. And the monks are chasing. The monks get pulled back, but the Trebs and cannons okay. for Yadviga taking down castle number four, is it? How, how many can yeah. he build? <laughs> well, he can build whatever he wants. You know why? Because right now Yadviga has only... 166 villages and he just lost eight. He was up to 174 villages, you know. 174 oh, villages, incredible, you know. And that explains it. It's crazy, you know. Explain everything, right? Not a lot of farming though for for blue and Jadviga. As you were talking, it's not having a super extra farming. He's pushing a lot, and I have the feeling that you were right with your predictions before. This sounds me more and more like a barrels gameplay to me, like this kind of. Very aggressive player here, he's pushing, but not controlling the macro as good as the super top, top, top. So, yeah, yeah. Oh man, I mean, okay, you know? Otto's not gonna have, Otto's not gonna have many villagers oh, for much longer here. Uh, they've just gone to slaughter. That actually helps Otto, so he has more population. But this is a yeah, very good, like, arena or Black Forest style middle push here from Jed Vega. It's like, take the position, castle the position, continue to push. Never lose the snowball ever. And Yadwiga's up to 200 pop. The final castle will fall here for Otto. And if you don't have a castle wow. with the Italians, I don't think you have a chance against the Lithuanian wow. Cavalier. Uh, pretty crazy. I think he has lost what? Uh, Tristan, four castles there in the middle. Probably let's take the battle here and then we will try to comb them. Cavaliers are coming. Yeah, a lot. Maybe five, maybe. Cavaliers, skirmishes, many trebuchets, bombard cannons as well. Those are going to be fully upgraded now, finally. Cavaliers. And the push is real now. 57 army. I think it's the right time now for Red to finish the game. Tristan, but the map is really yep. big and he's doing another castle at the back. Otto the Great. The, the issue right now for Otto is that you now have, there is an open path directly to your eco. If Cavalier get into your eco and it's starting to happen, you are gonna take massive losses. Uh, and and Yadwiga is protected with castles and is protecting the Trebs at all times. And man, I, you see how many monks are constantly targeted on units? I'm really leaning towards a Ganji, a Barrels, a play, players who rely on monks a little bit more than, than maybe some of the others constantly 
Those red monks are finding new targets every time I'm looking well, there. Think, yeah. Yeah, I think Bals could be... I think Angie actually played yesterday, in my opinion, but still. Yeah, yeah, maybe know, it was Patrick Cutie still... or... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. I, I agree with that in uh, because I think that was the guess yesterday in your channel, right? It was, yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Anyway, yeah. look at those ratings there. Still ready more. Now he doesn't have that many as you mentioned, but he still have good numbers of army and also in the queue is 27 Khazars. You know, but would you prefer 27 Khazars or 28 Cavaliers? I think the answer is clear, right? Oh my God. Um well, you know, if there's 20 Genoese crossbow too, I think it's very strong. Like True. what Otto's doing now is this composition that he's actually going for is really strong. But the problem is his eco is wide open. Now he's going to get some raids in here, which is good. But um, we do see a big fight Whoa. right now from Otto. There's a big fight happening. The Hussars finally are here. The Genoese crossbowmen are here as well. The monks will die. Some bomber cannons will die. And the Genoese crossbowmen are there to kill the Cav. I think oh, it's but the, tough for but, but from here. Yeah. Oh god. But but those those Genoese don't have the upgrades. They don't have Pavis. They are not elite. They are missing the armor. They are missing yeah. many upgrades. Yeah. Well, those yeah. Cavaliers are gonna be paladins in a moment. He's having all the upgrades. Red. He's pushing there and also raiding in the farmers as well. He's looking really rough, and I really believe that this is gonna be the GG very soon. At least that is ACCM, or because look at the score, it's 3,000, <laughs> and then we are going to drive into another direction, a guy who you never know. The Bombard Cannons are going to go down. This is game over, Tristan, because over. there's no map at all. It's game over, right? Don't want to yeah, be anti hype, but. It feels like it. Whoa. It feels, it feels like Yadriga's yeah, got a memp. I mean, Yadriga's yeah, killed 100 villagers. Sure, there's some random raids happening. But it is something that Yadviga is able to focus on consistently throughout Imp. Yadviga has had this this push. Also, Paladin was canceled, by the way. Canceled the Paladin upgrade oh. to save some resources, which I don't. I actually okay. don't hate. But a continuous push, continually taking down things with these trebs. Can we get a double click on these trebs and see just how much they've accomplished? Like this should be a stat for those trebuchets there to tell us the situation with with how much damage they have done. They have dealt 52,000 HP of damage. That is, uh, what is that, 10 castles worth, depending? That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, he, he just decided to go to the Wing of Hussars. Okay. Interesting there. But still, the problem, is that, the problem for Blue is that he is still constantly attacking, raiding. This game is confusing me again so much for who they can be. <laughs> It's crazy. JJ Cole, man. Called. Whoa. It, it, it was looking that Otto the Great was going to be in a better position in the middle, but he couldn't do the job. Honestly, it's your viewers' fault. When I made the question, they all spam Otto and they they bring him all the bad luck, uh, Tristan. All the bad luck. I'm really because since that question, he started to lose all the ground, man, completely. I think, honestly, if you is. look at the military, this kind of tells a lot of the story. You can see the conversions yeah. there. You can see the total KD there. I think that y Yadviga just took the better trades in Imp, and that decided it. Because economy, it, it, look. It's the same. Auto actually collected no, no, more resources. The, the, in general, it's very close. So I think it was Yadviga's food? monks and the unit control, which was so, so strong yeah. there. And what civilization would he choose to play? Both players still have their first picks of Chinese available. And here is our answer. We have Gurjaras against Malians Ooh. here on Auto the Great's home map on Slopes, hmm. Mem. I'm thinking about the civilization right now. I think I prefer Malians here. They looks to me really, really smooth to play, honestly, with the cheaper discount for the wood, with the extra bonus, uh, with the goal. Gujara has the bonus with the herdables on the mill, but doesn't yeah. feel enough to me. And honestly, even for the late game, uh, well, similar option, right? Because camels are very strong for both. Different up bonus, different upgrades, but similar options for, for the late game. Jebetos, well, the other got the... The unique units for the, the Gujaras as well. The mm -hmm. Frisbees, I like to call them, you know? So, I don't know. I, I prefer Malians because I think the economy is just better. Yeah, I think I think the big thing with Malians is 
maybe not necessarily the economy, but they just have more options, right? Like they can make knights. More options. And knights. <laughs> like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Gerjaras. Yeah. yeah. Gerjaras can't make yeah. knights, you know. But I will say, like, you know, I, I I am quite an opinionated character, and there are some units in this game that I just simply do not like. And one unit which bothers me, which I feel is so annoying in so many ways, is the Shravamsha Rider. And I think if if Otto the Great can get Shravamshas running in and around Yedviga's economy, Otto the Great is the perfect player for that because of how freaking tough those things are to kill with raids. So if this gets messy and the base is open, I think the Shravamsha Rider for the Gujaras could actually end up being quite strong here. Okay, so uh, um, Otto the Great need to be aggressive and need to be aggressive from the start. He's already going there with the camel trying to maybe lame the boar. Now he's not sending bullets forward. Uh, I mean, it's important also go to the, uh, I like to call to the flanks, you know, to the, si to the side with the, with the short fish, with the extra deers as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. It's, it's a good point about those uh, riders. It, it's still, I feel that Malians here is so versatile, really. I like them a lot. In general, I think yeah. they are very powerful in many maps. And here, they are so smooth to play, really. I think with Gujaras, well, you need to play just perfect. Yeah, I, I think where the Malians can struggle here, though, like I think what typically makes them strong is when they go a combination of knights and archers, or like camels and archers in Castle Age. And you always do have to think twice about as we see Otto the Great get housed at 15 population. <clears throat> um, MBO confirmed. But, uh, you know, I, I th do think you have to think twice about the crossbow play because it's just tricky with the possibility of this Revamsha Rider. Um, so I agree. Okay. I think Malians are superior. I think that Otto the Great is going to have to play, you know, at, at like 110% if Yedwiga comes here at 100%. But... With slopes, there's there's lots of options and lots of ways you could pressure an attack. I think the potential is there. Okay, let's see. Let's see what is what is gonna happen. Definitely, it's gonna be very interesting. The loom being done a little bit earlier that he probably he wanted. I don't think it's a big deal, Tristan, because he's you know with this civilization, what 18, 19 population up, 20 maximum. Yeah. So he should be about yeah. to go up soon. So it shouldn't be a big deal. And then into what? Into scouts. Maybe that do, that we guys is going to go some militias, two militias, the the French uh, rush. You know, like hmm? or we'll go scouts. The map is big. I think a scouts probably and having mobility is the best option. No. Yeah, I, I agree. Now, Mem, I want to talk about something specific with the Gurjaras here. So okay, the so right now there are the starting sheep or turkeys or geese whatever inside of that mill. Okay, now I personally feel as though at this point instead of seeding farms, you should start to pull the turkeys out of the mill or geese, sorry, and start to eat them. And I think there are players okay. that also agree with that. Um, for example, I know that like Doubt and Tato. Those two players are always doing that. I'm not sure where some of the other players in our scene, the main event, stand on it now. But the idea is you get the food boost early, and then right here, you actually start to eat them. So I think that does eliminate, you know, it's just something to bring up. It is interesting to see that Otto the Great is choosing not to do that here with the Gujaras. Okay. But maybe if you don't have deers to push, but since he's pushing now the deers and also you can even move, maybe you don't need it. And that's why the reason, because the mm -hmm. map, this is a custom map, right? It's not like the standard map then. It's not because, Arabia. Uh, yeah. It's not Arabia, you know, here you have more resources, right? So, yeah. and then yeah. if you can take those extra, you will have those extra ships forever during the game, which is nice as well. Mm -hmm. If you can keep it. It's, it's a fair tricky, point. You know, but, but, and it's a fair point also what you mentioned, just in case of the, the pliers, right? That they are, you know, uh, they are used to do some of that as to be stable and gonna be stable as well with what we expected right yep absolutely yeah and and okay. i think what out of the great is 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 realizing that it's going to be a bit awkward to produce too many scouts actually i think i'm wrong i think there is a stable up at home there so it's going to be a scout war from here neither player has taken a risk to go to the sides just yet Ooh, is that a... Oh, that's the deer underneath the TC. Never mind. Forgot he had the deer there. Um, 
I'm you know, Mem from I'm here, surprised. usually it's a wall game, Rowan. and we're not seeing that. Uh, oh, I was going to say that. When I said I'm surprised and I told you, go on, I was like, now they're starting to make the walls, but this is really rare, rare sorry, and weird that there's no wall still now, like nothing. Just now blue is starting. Usually the players are wall completely at this point. It's crazy. Yeah, I agree. In a three I, I two think, already. I do wonder how much of that is the uh, qualifiers versus the main event, though. Too, I, I would expect main event players to play a bit safer. But the thing the best players have is they have a lot of confidence in their quick walls and their damage control, and also their attacks here. So, like Yadwiga going out, being aggressive, Otto the Great immediately just defends beautiful quick walls here from Otto. And doesn't allow this attack to do anything, at least just yet. Tristan, do you think that the players at this point, when they have played five games together, they might be guessing who they are each other? I I believe so, and it will be fun. So right? we don't get to find out who who they think they're playing against now. But at the very end of the tournament, every player's guess on who they think they played will be data that we have. And I, I guess in theory, the more games you play against somebody, the more you're going to have to guess from, right? Okay. Yeah, because they have faced already many times. But let's see. He's going to see now the first villager down or not. Otto the Great need to have the initiative. We were talking about this. I think that villager is going to be... No, it's not going to be down. You need to go back and now pull a farm there with that villager. Very low HP. He's going back. But this is what you don't want. Oh, he's being attacked at home. Let's see what happened there, yep. Mr. Mop. We do have an attack there. We Mr. do have an attack there. Okay. The villager is super weak. Otto is going to go back in, and we don't have a prepped wall there from Yadwiga. And that is going to be a dead villager. And the scouts yep. are weak, but they do get away after killing a villager. Nice find there for Otto the Great. This is what we said he needed. A little bit of a lead here against the Malians. And with those weak walls, you can tell who they are not. Because that wasn't very smooth. I mean, it, it, it's true, right, Tristan? It wasn't super smooth, that big <laughs> wall. I think well, that villain could have, could have been safe, really. I mean, huh? in theory, but I, mean, I think at this point, th these have been long games. You know, he probably didn't yeah, they're assume tired. that they're tired. was going to have they're the tired. guts. I'm just... I. I, I agree with you. I, I, I would say the same thing. I was thinking the same thing, but I also have to present <laughs> the other side. But yeah, okay. it's probably not. Okay. It's definitely there is no world where Yadviga is Viper. There's no world that like that much is confirmed. I wasn't thinking about Viper. You know? Think about Hera, or <laughs> thinking about like any other players here. Well, you know the the the, the fastest APM players would they lose that value, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I still think, I, yeah, I think like so. maybe like Hart, yeah. maybe Leary. Yeah, I, I still think we're looking at like a. MBL like against something Leary, like Barrels Hart, yeah, exactly. or Dow. Yeah, Hart and Leary are super quick in those situations, like super fast yeah. as well. So yeah. let's see. Anyway, they're coming with the battle. Look at now Otto the Great. I think he's doing the good job here. He has two bullets more. He forces also 15 seconds idle TC. And now he has a lot of farming. This is probably the situation he wants to have. But then you check resources for Jadwiga. And Malian's economy is really smooth. I don't know if he should be doing the market, which he's not doing right now. Yeah, this, well, is, actually, this is a lot of army from Otto, right? Like, and it's it's an awkward army. It's it's an auto army. We have the starting camel, we have the, the four spearmen, one archer, four scouts. I mean, we, we're seeing this in Hidden Cup 5, but man, a lot of people they see this when they play against the AI after they watch the stream. Yeah. Like, this is a really tough army to deal with because there's so many different things mixed in to it, and oh, all of a sudden red. auto's in on the wood line. Red need the tower here. Red need the tower because I don't think he's going to have army to stop this. Yes, his army is with fletching, but he has two archers. I don't know. He's going to be able to stop this. Now he's doing the house. The palace side used to make me lose bad and then he's going to make some nice quick walls. Come on. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't mind if to lose bad. It's fine. There, yeah. <laughs> if there were more archers there, this is devastating for Yadwiga. But for now, Yadwiga is able to kind of hold. In some ways, there's been some good patience from out of the great, though. I spoke a little too soon, but he didn't over-invest into his attack too early. Did get some good kills. Is controlling the game, which we know is what he likes. But Yadviga with some great just, defense. Man, yeah. but I think like that could have easily led to three or four villagers going down, and he didn't lose a single one.
Yeah, it, it's a very good defense. It's very good played by Red here. And check his resources. His resources are looking so great. Not great. Amazing, because he's on the way to Castle Age. Malian's economy kicking in here. And Jadwiga is on the way to Castle Age. Well, wow. Otto the Great has army, but not an old army to do damage. Look at the numbers, Tristan. 10-8, and you are up to Castle Age. You are fine. Exactly. And, and man, we were saying like that the Gurjaras can be good against the archers with Shravamshas, but you need to click up. You need to be in Castle Age to be able to make the Shravamsha riders. And there's going to be a really good timing here for Yadviga, provided that the you know archers aren't lost to kill with crossbowmen. And and Yadviga's up three two. Everyone wants that game number seven for our entertainment, but this is a position Don't that good. Otto the Great, yeah. it, 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 you know, Otto the Great's going to have to find a fight here before Castle Age. If he cannot find one, he could be in big trouble. Yeah, but he can't find it. Why he can't find it? Because also Red is not being greedy and he has double archery range himself. He's producing yeah. archers and skirmishes as well. He's doing the market and if we focus here, Red is probably going to kill the army before reaching Castle Age even, Tristan. And Red is yeah, in, a, really nice. in a very good position right now. Yeah. I do, I do actually think in some ways this isn't horrible for Otto though because he's still trading uh, reasonably well. He's killing just as many archers as he's losing. And he also has kept that army from Yadviga there, right? As opposed to Yadviga being halfway across the map. But I am really curious to see if we see something like tower defense now or what Otto the Great does here. Because when you see Castle Age yeah. and you're down a game, you're instantly like, oof. Uh, what do I but do Tristan. here against Crossbow? And really, not only that, I think this is the civilization that you want to see the, the Ballistic right away. Can we check map if he's doing the University or something? Because Malians get the bonus so, so fast, the, the, the Ballistic. Yeah. And if he's doing that, yeah. he can dominate. I don't see any University, but not DC either. He's going with the Knight. Would you have done the University here? Because it can be... Um, it can be a... I don't know. It's tricky, but... I mean, it's expensive, me, I know, but... I, I'm I'm doing it right because I'm I think it, it's good as well. Um, but I think if you already feel like you have a nice lead, the second TC is what most players at this level are going to do. Um, second TC doing. on that wood line is huge for Yadviga, so that's a really good decision. And the reason for that, Mem, is because a player like Otto has just had two minutes to know where his opponent's pressure is going to come in and know where he needs to defend. And so with that in mind, oh. Yadviga knew he'll probably defend from this. I need to get a lead in another way. And what do you know? Like house walls everywhere. The only vulnerable area was the gold and there's a tower. Beautiful play. Nice. And now he's doing the university. He has the army in the north, the TC in the south. Another bunch of army, even more in the south, close to blue base. It's playing really, really smooth here. But all being said, Population, Otto the Great is still a little bit ahead with two villages more. So he's still fine. And we're going to have another great game, Tristan, which is what we love, what we want. This is awesome. Yeah. what That deer is really in the way there. What an interesting <sighs> TC. It's not the first time I've seen that, man. But I do remember in the qualifier that some players built their TC on the food. Now, Robo is going to hate me for this. But I would love if, if it's an easy stat. If anyone remembers who built the TCs on the food, I'd like to know. Could have been someone who didn't make the main event. Here comes Otto the Great with his army. And Yadviga is making his way towards the hunt on that side. But he is actually doubling back home with the crossbows that have ballistics. Maybe expecting something as the game will stabilize. It will go Oof. late and boom, crossbows finally get spotted in the middle. Yeah, but also he did the Toll Watch, which is great. He is going to be harder to surprise him, but he's going to try. Both are kind of attacking each other at the same time, but that knight is yeah, going to yeah, work yeah. like an outpost, you know, so he's completely fine. Let's see those archers. He's coming. He's going to find now that that DC. Fog of War, I think he's missing that. He's missing the Toll Center. Probably Siege Workshop as well. But, but Tristan, look how great are Malians here. Two TCs, Siege Workshop, University and Ballistic, and you can afford... All that with this civilization is crazy. Mm -hmm. It's really crazy. I, and I, now, auto I agree with you as well. But yeah, I'd like to point out though that despite all these bonuses, Otto the Great is the only one that has killed villagers. Otto the Great has, you know, as elite skirm coming in. Ballistics has been in for Yadviga for a long time, and only now are we really seeing those crossbows take an engagement. 
And look where the look yep. with the micro here from Auto the Great. And look at where the engagement is again, Mem. Auto the Great has made it so Yadviga's engagement is on the <sighs> other side of the map from where Yadviga actually wants to be. I am really impressed with Auto the Great here. <laughs> Oh yeah, but at the end he lost two bullets there now. Ballistic kicking in, finally doing some damage. The skirmishes are coming. Population is still now, well, a little bit more ahead for Jadwiga. He's gonna take another bullet. No, he will need a 30C and he's doing the 30C there. Auto the Great, there you go. This is why they do these TCs here. Usually the following is another TC if the goal is there or the stone, which is great. A lot harder to rate, but still, uh, after all these battles, Tristan and what we are talking, I don't know who really has the advantage here. It looks like Jadwiga has four villages more. Okay. But Bozo as well for blue. It's Look very at this close. micro. The mango Look at this micro. Man. This micro is insane. This micro is insane. He cleared up the army on the front. He says, screw your siege, which he, he did back in the Arabia game. A beautiful split, beautiful moves. And uh, <clears throat> maybe I, I, I spoke too much, but still... Not these anymore. Are... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, well, I well, mean, it, 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 it was a, a good it, engagement. It's fine. He's now yeah. redeeming himself for all the people here with more splits. And uh, he's going to need something <laughs> to deal with the siege. <laughs> Did you notice that it happens all the time, man? We can't do this, you know, because it's happened all the time. My goodness. I hate when that happens. And it happens all the time. Crazy. Anyway, but, 83 population, man, 80 population. Go on. Tell me. Remember, like, how this series has gone, right? On, like, the really mixed maps where there's water, Yadviga takes it. But where it's just land, it's all been about Otto. And right now, Otto finding more kills. Otto's going to have his own siege. I, I am seeing the comfort that Otto has on this type of map. It's just very evident to me that he feels, he feels fine here. And Yadviga, I think, really trying to force the issue right now. Like, really, like, okay, big numbers, big numbers through the middle. Let's do it that way. Let's see how it pans out here. Because if Otto okay. could defend okay. with one or two Manganels, this could be insane. Let's focus on that. MBL is, in my opinion, the best player in the Mangalos battle. Yes. I yes. don't know what Agreed. you think. The best player Agreed. in the Mangalos battles. And now we're going to have some Mangalos battles going on. There's a Mangalos coming. Blue is going. Red is going to be there. And he's saving but by a little. That wasn't the smoothest play, but he got the lack. So maybe the oh, lack God. of the Mangalos player. Okay. Ooh, this. Oh, man. There's action all over. And right now, then, even if you if are MBL someone... or whoever you are, it's difficult. Tell me. If someone is better at micro than you, you know what you do? You make more units. <laughs> and that is what Yadviga has turf. done here with this seed. Yeah, Yadviga has six Mangonels with the seventh on the way right now and has this massive force here on both TCs. This needs to be dealt with. This will be the biggest engagement of the game. Otto is expanding to the other side, which is smart. But if you don't defend these TCs, you're going to have a really big problem here see. if you're Otto. And here we go. Oh, here we go. Uh, Coming from the other side. How does this micro go? Big moments, big moments. Okay, big well, shots from Otto the Great. I, the I am Bill. I am Bill. Okay. Honestly, it's sick from both of them. It's sick, Mike, yeah. from both of them. But Otto's gonna defend because it is Otto the Great. Oh my God! The the look great. at the mangrove there. Uh, yeah, wow. well, blue. He's taking everything, Tristan. Look how he take all the crossbows. You can see the big badaboon there. And right now, army numbers, Auto the Great, 27, Jadwiga 8. Timing and momentum now, so 500 stone. Yeah, I MBL mean. Uh, like, if we needed yeah, yeah, yeah. another I mean, reason, if we needed yeah, something yeah, yeah. else in this game after the supremacy and the awkwardness and the vil fighting and the laming, this is MBL. And if I am wrong, if we as a community are wrong, we are going to be shocked at the conclusion. <laughs> that was insane, okay. dude. It was six mangonels on the field for Yadviga. It went down to two. Beautiful play. Yeah, he has now three because he did another five mangonels there. And we forget to mention how expensive the mangonels are. They're very yeah. expensive. One of the most expensive units in Castle, right? So it's crazy. And now blue, five don't say, oh, the mango nails, okay. Oh, uh-oh, 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 oh, God. Okay, MBL uh, is gone now. It's not MBL, it's, yeah, it's not, not MBL. MBL it's not, not MBL. confirmed, well, it's not MBL. MBL is gone. He lost all the mango nails here. What the hell, Tristan? Stop <laughs> killing this, man. <laughs> not confirmed, man. Uh, 
Oh, <laughs> he loves him with the mangoes now. He's got. <laughs> Same, well, man. you know, oh I think I think at this point both players both <laughs> players needed a reality check, right? They were so comfortable going with Siege, they both needed a reality check so they could switch into something else. And that oh god, that something else is gonna be knights for Yadwiga. And knights could be fantastic here in combination with Siege, but the Gurjaras can also mix in their camels against this. Yeah. Check check the wood. For Jadwiga here, if he just sell, he go Imperial right now. Look at the resources he has. Yeah, yeah. You know? I think Mem, he when he sees this Imperial. castle, if he sees this castle, he is he gonna drop it. his own. Oh, yeah, he's gonna go yeah. up to Imp anyways. Yeah, he's already thinking yeah, yeah. about it, and he does sell the wood. You call that Mem. He's gonna buy some food. He's gonna click up this Imp oh. time. Could give Jadwiga the series. That is actually the the perfect thing to see. It's like you're building your own castle, you're already imping, and your opponent doesn't know you're build a castle. And your opponent isn't imping. This could be so good for Yadviga. Yeah. And being Malian's uh, Tristan, right? When his opponent is going to go up to Imperial, you know, or better say it, when Red is going to be in Imperial, having chemistry in what, in 15 seconds? Like so fast? You're going to have Bombard Cannons probably on the field and traps while your opponent is not yet in Imperial. Yeah, it's, re it's really tricky. And, you know, it's the other so thing, too, is if you don't have knights, if you don't have a unit that can dive underneath castles to take trebs, it's a little bit of a problem there, too. Now, I do think the way Otto's building up, Otto has expanded his eco nicely. He's going to have a castle on the left side protecting him so he can't be broken there. He's made military buildings in different areas. Otto is not going to go away quietly. But a lot of this gold that's accessible for these guys, the gold and the stone on slopes, is through the middle, okay? And I think that whoever wins the treb war is going to have the ability to make a lot of gold units. Yeah. I, I know there's a small insight here, Tristan. When you are with three TCs and your opponent has five and you are only 10 villages behind and going up to Imperial faster, your macro has been insane. With yeah. In 40 minutes, not even three minutes idle TC in total. Red macro yeah, it's, it's, in this game has, has been brutal. Has been really I agree. Good. I mean, Dude, it's, like already. these guys are so good on Arabia. They're so, so good. And obviously this yeah. is slopes, but on Arabia style maps, it's impressive to me. I do just wonder if the lack of an army right now for Yedwiga could be a concern. This castle here, that protects the area, but that's not a castle that is necessarily a good sign. Um... You're going to have Otto build a castle over there to kind of gain control of that hill. This army from Otto can run into Yadviga's eco. There's no army to stop what Otto the Great has right now. Yeah, I will do... I, having Ballistic, Tristan, if I was red, I would do a comb, just a couple of towers to avoid all this. It's only skirmishers. You know, if you make a couple of towers, having Ballistic, having chemistry, is going to defend really well. But he's not doing it. He just prefers to wall a little bit. But a couple of towers will, will kill. It's true that also those knights are going to kill it. So it's fine. And yeah, he doesn't have a lot of farming, but being that fast in him, let's see now if he can take the castles down. The problem is that blue has a lot of farming one more time. And now red is not microing that well and probably going to lose pretty much everything. Uh, Tristan, yeah, some this is an amazing help, fight. But no army. Woo. Yeah, this is an amazing this fight. Score. And out of the great, out of the great clears up everything here. We've got ranged units around and the chakrams also are a pretty helpful unit against what we're seeing here. And Yadviga skyrocketed to imp, had the faster imp time, but hasn't been able to really get the army out yet because the plan was all to go for hand cannons. I mean, man, man, <laughs> the, the series continues yeah. to deliver. And believe me when I say, Yadviga's not finished because Yadviga's gonna be able to trep at the middle continuously, hand cannons are being massed, and hand cannon is, is gonna be really strong if it can get you know, going with Bombard Cannons in the middle area too. So I, I just, I don't know how this game is going to go. I'm just going to say again, Otto seems to be in his comfort zone, man. He's got good population. He's got yeah. units and TCs everywhere. And he, it and feels castles. like he's been here a thousand times before. Listen. And castles everywhere. He has one on the left, one on the right. He's there. He has all the camels, heavy camels in two seconds. He's even sending a armored elephant that helps a lot. And now who has no army to take those armored elephants is Red. Red right now has a lot of this, but sadly for him, well, the hand cannon is going to help. I'm going to take the camels and with the bomber cannon, it's going to be fine. Oh my God, as you mentioned, 
who is winning this game? I, I'm not sure anymore, but I really believe that at some point, Jadwiga will need some cavalry. I don't know. Even Farimba lightcaps yeah, can be great, actually. You know? Yeah, we got light cap coming in. I mean, Mem, there's no shortage of food right now for Jadwiga. We got a Trebor on the right, which is kind of unprotected for both, so we have to keep an eye there. We still then have the ongoings towards the middle where we, we have a Bombard Cannon, and I mean, there's too much to look at. The population's higher for Otto the Great right now. They're both still spamming villagers with 150 vills, but on this side, Yadviga loses the Treb, and heavy camels are underneath the castle there. The middle area is happening too. We, we've got the middle Trebs and the middle Bombard Cannons. That Treb will survive, but the Bombard Cannons and the Trebs in the middle are massively important, and now everything for oh Otto God. is going down. And this, to me, feels like it could swing either way. We have a win for Otto on the right, but we've got some big problems through the middle right now. Yeah, big problems in the middle, and then all your economy is there, but you need to save. I think Red need to save this, and he's going to save it. He take the traps, and he now saved Bobber with the Bobber Bobber Cannon. Cannon. Well, yeah, if he stabilizes he gotta, he gotta this be area, and he's going to be fine. What? It's not, this isn't it. We got the north as well. Uh, like, we are just going to be skipping around no. people. You are going to get dizzy looking at all the different areas that these players are fighting for. And it is going to be continuous, either damage control in one area or pushing in the next. But I mean, Mem, we talked hand cannons before. It's now 25 of them. I, I think handling those hand cannons is going to be a big problem right now for Otto the Great. Yeah, oh, he has been playing all the times without Satrias. Remember, 25% cheaper in terms of food. That is a lot of resources that he could save. He's doing now the the, the upgrade, but the castle is going to be down. How are you going to take? Oh, but the hand cannoneers all lose against the castle, man. Ah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's raiding, which is, is very nice. He's raiding here. He's raiding all over now with the camels. But he's also holding here population for blue is still 200 pop. And here on the right, he's also attacking all over the map. Blue is holding in the middle, raiding in the north, and now taking on the on the right side as well. This is nuts. The bomber cannons. Bomber cannons are so expensive. Oh. Bomber cannons are so expensive. He's lost so much here, Mem. And if this castle yeah. falls, there's like 50 villagers here. This would be amazing for Otto. The castle's going to fall. But now the castle's going to fall for Otto in the middle of the map. Yeah, but yes, Skirmish is he's losing there. I don't know. It's not the north. He's now expanding in the north a little bit with another TC. Jadwiga, uh, score is still say that blue is ahead. I have the feeling that we're going to have the first game number seven in Hidden Cup 5 is looking like this because uh -huh. now Jadwiga, when he loses his castle and he's losing now, it has all that and protected. He's going to lose the castle here too, but I prefer the position now. For Otto the Great, uh, Tristan. I agree. Lot. And it like, it felt GG! scripted. This whole series, this whole series has felt scripted, Mem. L whether it's the player guesses or, or the back and forth or our conversation on how we felt like Otto the Great would feel comfortable here, would somehow be able to figure out how to tie this up 3-3. Yet again, the, the theme remains. If Otto the Great is on a map that is similar to Arabia or it is pure land, Otto the Great is the player that's favored now. The final map is another one of those styles. Otto the Great probably is feeling amazing, considering he was possibly at a Civ disadvantage. And, and man, it's just like the theme with this player, I'm realizing. His castle age times are normally a bit later, but he just makes so much army. There's, there's like exactly. spearmen, archers, scouts. Exactly. Like he just has so much army all the time. That's why. That's why he was later, right? And then he never got any damage from the early castle from his opponent. Oh my God, Tristan, I'm so hyped. You know, I was thinking, for how many years we know each other? How many times we have cast together? We didn't have that much luck when we cast together in some of the tournaments. And, you know, I think this is the best series we have cast together. Yeah, it, it, it has to be because the series it's, is beautiful. It man. has to be. I mean, the, it's really the hidden aspect aside, and it, I mean, this is not hidden anymore. This has to be MBL, right? But the hidden aspect aside, this series has been so, so crisp, so clean. Um, or, or sorry, it hasn't been crisp and clean at all, but it's just been fantastic in terms of the, the execution on both sides. Um, the strategy has been so cool. And you know, the other cool thing I'm kind of noticing right now is Jadwiga's three wins were on the three home maps. Otto, two wins on the two same. home maps, and then game number one. That is yeah. actually, I know I pointed out that, you know, they're, they're preferred maps and all that, but it is actually quite rare 
that one player's side is is wins and the other player's side is also wins. So okay, number seven, decider Chinese mirror with two great plays. We're gonna have a great place advancing and another great player, Tristan, that sadly is gonna be eliminated. Why China is great in this map, Tristan? Because it's well, great, right? The main thing about Chinese in general is they start with additional vills, but the struggle is the lack of food. So when you have zero food but more villagers, it takes a long time usually to produce more vills again, which kind of makes Chinese balance. If you put food right underneath the TC, that makes Chinese one of the best sieves in the game. So usually the like 30 or so seconds of TC idle time you would have with Chinese um, on other maps is not the case here. And so people feel like Chinese are simply so strong that they can't be beat. And thus, we, we, they both actually picked Chinese. Now, that is possible in Hidden Cup 5. Your very first pick can possibly be the same pick as your opponent. And that is only revealed after the pick is made. So they see the game the same way, Mem. But this map is crazy for other reasons as well. And that's mainly due to the wood and where you have to take the wood. Because where you're taking the wood... There is also water. Uh, and another thing very important. Can you put map of the fog of war again, please? Just fog of war, a, a moment. And with how the TC has the, the, the mangrove, right? Just go and see mm -hmm. the TC, uh, the extra LOS that now the Chinese have. Yeah, yeah. You don't get surprised. Well, the other thing, too, is the Chinese, the Chinese the Chinese have know, population space. Don't they have space population too. space now for their TCs yeah. as well? So. Yeah, they, yeah, the Chinese were buffed as well, which I think plays its role. It's just very smooth. And it, I mean, from before the games were even played, they obviously prioritized Chinese as number one. But Mem, think about this series. Think about how back and forth it's been. Think about how even it's been. What better way to decide who the best player is than having the same options, the same civilization, awesome. the same tools on a map like this? This should be amazing. It would be definitely amazing. And I think this would be favorite blue for how he has been playing in just land map. Because people might be thinking, oh, but the middle looks like a water well. There's not going to be dogs. At least not early. Not going to fish. Later, we can see some other ones there, but just to kill units, right? And create all these chaos that if, as we think, Otto the Great is MBL, he feels so comfortable in these kind of situations. Yeah. Really, really comfortable. I remember, okay. I think it was this map MBL versus Capoche, right? And he mm -hmm. did that domination. I think with the Mayans, Capoche was coming with towers, if I'm not mistaken. If this is MBL, this map is fit him a lot. Really, really. Yeah. So what everyone wants to see here, the emote everyone wants to use is the demo, right? That I mean, We're talking about scouts and eco, but deep down everyone's like, give me a freaking demo, please. Um, but the thing that's yeah. important to mention on that the dock doesn't give you any other benefit on this map, right? If you make a dock, you can't fish. So that's a big investment early. So I feel like the timing on that is critical. And I think the best timing on that is after you have already farmed, you've already made spears, already made scouts. Um, but Mem, that's not, not everyone's going to agree with that statement. But I wanted to point that out. The timing on that is critical. And then players need to look for it. Because you need to scout that thing, man. If you don't know a demo could come to your wood line, you could that could be game over. Yeah, through that. Well, let's see what was going to happen. I want to make you a question about another topic. I'm just checking Capture Age. I look at the color. It has been oh, that yeah, we were picking green at all yeah, during the whole series. Picking and green. Picking the decider. So the colors have been Indeed red decided. and blue the whole series in the final game. Yeah, the last game. Which is the color to green? Hmm. Well, uh, I do have stats on greens. color mem, and if you would like, I could talk about it a lot, but we'll play the video again at some point. The player who picks green the most <laughs> is Leary. <laughs> I know, but it, did, did you feel that this is Leary gameplay? I don't, even less with the maps that he has won. That is definitely what he doesn't like them. So, I, I, I. Also, I, I, I. unrelated note. Stats. Unrelated note. Um, yeah. yeah, unrelated note. Um, we are currently hiring for a new stats person. So, if you would like to apply, <laughs> please go for a position that does not exist. dot com, and you can uh, you you can apply there for uh, for stats for Hidden Cup. Mm. Tristan, okay. Don't fire. Don't don't fire in the decided game. Wait this game to finish. You know.
Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they maybe were in progress, you know, for the for the rest of the game. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully it's gonna be cool, you know. I'm gonna stay for the next game. Anyway, a scout, right? Is uh, is the approach and mobility here? It matters a lot. A little bit faster, yeah. red with the scout with the stable up. Yeah, I really like what Red's doing here too. I wonder if the initial lumber camp spot was intentional, Mem. But look at how the walls are blocking off the potential of any demos there. That is not a lot of walling, and you can just freely walk over towards your wood line now without having to worry about a ship coming in. So I, I like that. I think that Otto the Great needs to follow suit and get some walls down too. Ooh, now he's there with the scout. He has to be careful. The spear is going to be in time. Um, if this guy is MBL, I want to see a tower in the next three, four minutes maximum. Don't know what you think. Mm, yeah, I could see it. I could see a, a tower, tower behind wood that wood line being really smart. Yep. Yeah, yeah, scouts well, going see. in here to Let's the wood line, it. and MB uh, <clears throat> Auto is uh, fighting back on the scouts. We got quite a few spears out. Scout number isn't high enough yet, where you're expecting a lot of carnage. But there are three scouts there from Auto the Great, who, by the way, is not using box formation. We'll have an interesting video on formations after this series, which I think will really help people uh, add add some level of enjoyment here to Hidden Cup if they're not already at the max um more walls from yadwiga i like it mem and so far final game no one wants to make any mistakes yeah no not so many kills i don't know if blue has seen completely the word the woodland is did, did he did he spot it the wood the blue i'm, I'm not sure yeah he did he did, he right? did yeah he knows he not completely he has to explore everything but we don't see yet any any tower i mean it's the decided game even if he's nbl or whoever it is do you want to take a risk, right? Because sending now villages forward is a risk, uh, Tristan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Imagine that you you yeah, there think... and then you lose those villages. Yeah, I think also for as good as the Chinese are with their start, it is it is awkward on the map to expand your eco initially because of the double berry spots. So I think once this gets to Maybe like 15 minutes. That's when the army counts will be insane. The upgrades will be insane. We already have forging coming in for auto for example mm. so should be wild then soon here man risk yeah you can you yeah. can maybe take the risk getting then. housed uh, <clears throat> forward to that. <laughs> okay five scouts coming you have to be careful three scouts going around four spears now you have to be careful in this area but he has two spears so he's fine and those are with plus one the spears are coming the scouts are coming as well but we still don't see any villages forward or anything are gonna be wild battles it will be Right, Tristan? The battles will yep. take a little bit, but there will be a point that it, it will snowball. Otto, I just love... Like, Otto just queues up Spearman constantly. Do you remember the Byzantine game, right? <laughs> now this game, we've got nine Spearmen right now. Two more on the way. Just does not care. And, and this is the map for it, man. This map is normally scouts and spears. So it is the perfect situation for Otto to spam those Spearmen. Yeah, for now it's still well. Now the KD is starting to to increase. Definitely five three on his favor. Hmm, you have to be careful. Some more spears, but not taking any big losses. Still, the wood is completely wall. It might if he's doing the tower there, but as we were talking, they don't want to take any risk. And uh, population, Otto the Great is still a. Ooh, this Ooh, is a big here. opportunity no here. There's big no opportunity. Defense. There's spears, but they're not here, and this is disastrous for Otto. And it's actually fine. Never mind. He has another Spearman. He has the Scouts. And uh, Yadwiga decided better on taking that engagement. Scouts still moving around. We do also have a full wall here for Yadwiga on the right side, which is not something we see every day on this map. And a good fight oh. here for Otto, getting some more good hits here on the Scouts. Yeah. I agree. I mean, I'm a little bit disappointed that he didn't commit a little bit more in the in the woodland because he could have taken at least one or two villages. He didn't take any, you know. Yeah, but still, yeah, this yeah. coming with the with the with the spear, I think he could have taken. Oh wow, blue is not being greedy at all. He's doing even the armor now. Fortune is already done by red, but red is kind of Tristan. He's reacting more. I feel that Otto yeah, is just getting yeah. the initiative here, and red is just reacting of what blue is doing. Yeah, and and it makes sense if if Yadwiga is a player who doesn't prefer these types of maps, it would make sense. And you can see as the multitasking becomes more important, yet Vega having some problems. And this is what Auto excels with. Auto excels with making it scrappy, making it messy, 
And that's going to be our first villager kill of the game. There's spearmen everywhere. It is the spearmen offensive from Otto the Great, Twelve. who's gone for attack and armor here with spearmen. 12, 11, two more in the queue. He's going all wild. He's spamming. He has seven villages on goal. He's now taking the farmers here. And in this map, in this situation, both with the sensibilization, look how Otto the Great is playing. Amazing Tristan. He's taking now a huge lead. Yeah, that villager is very weak as well. That villager could easily go down, but I think we've got something going on maybe at Otto's base. No, we don't. There's just spears everywhere you go. And Ooh. it seems like Yadwiga is crumbling here, man. Yadwiga just doesn't have enough army and is really stressed out at the moment. All these farms have to be vacated. And the walls on the other side are not protecting anything over here. Well, uh, Tristan, do you see the dog? You wanted to see, but what I see is... Five villains down, and ladies and gentlemen, Otto the Great, he sell his soul, he sell everything, no stone, no nothing, and he's on the way to Castle Tristan. Otto the Great is getting there into the next round, basically. Well, 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 oh, hold on. Uh, hold on. I, let's see the scouts there. I'm not ready to aye, call aye. quits yet. We had a quick one from yeah. Viga. It does seem like the Spearman, though, should be able to defend this. Now, Mem, if you need to come back big time, what do you need? You need a demo. What is being made from that dock right now? Demo. A demo. <laughs> demo. Demo. And is coming. It, and, and, and there's the, no the walls. Wood line is not walled. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. There's no walls. There's <laughs> definitely no walls. You have to be, be careful horrible. there. Oh my oh, god. Yeah, but I'm take so the concerned. resources. But she, oh, oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Thumin, Thumin. Papu, Papu, we want to see the blood. Thumin. Aye, aye, aye. He's gonna wall. Oh. Oh, house wall. Oh, Ban this God. guy. So, Ban blue, man. I don't man. trust it. No, no, no. I don't. Oh, oh, he, oh house. what? The house, man. No, ban red. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he he takes the demo in the house, oh, he man. He loses so another villager to the scout. What is happening? Yet Vega needed to try and loop that demo around. Another villager gets doinked by Otto the Great. What a find! Saving him for later, and then the scouts go in. The scouts die, and Mem, this might be it. This might be GG. I mean, you you have to agree now with me, right? Because, man, he bought it back 100 stone just to make probably a TC on the wood. But the castle is now here. Has to be so disappointing. GG, good luck, Ness. Not ACCM either. Yeah, we got lost and we got crazy. 4-3 for Otto, the NBL great. Tristan. Wow, I mean, we're going to see what people think about these players. Who? They think these players are, but Otto the Great was down 3-2 and brought it back. Can we go back, Mapu? Mapu, take it back here. We got to see the most created unit for a second. I Everyone knows how, like, what was created. 28 Spearmen. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even make a oh third God. type of unit. <laughs> how many scouts? Is the... But he did five. Tristan, five. five scouts. With five scouts, he won the game. Seriously. <laughs> He's oh, he lost in scouts. What is this? Yeah, it's crazy. And that's Otto the Great for oh, you, Otto. Man. People are going to be so freaking pumped to see Otto play in the next round. Congratulations to Otto for being so great. And Mem, uh, we this series, I think, for from the casting side, from the viewer side, for the player side, it had its ups and downs. But man, did it finish on a high! I had so much fun, dude, casting this series and. Um, I mean, we got to go back through it all, right? Game number one started off like this. We had Yadviga thinking the rhinos in the middle were important. Otto didn't take a single rhino in the middle. Eventually ended up pushing here with some monks, with some spears, and it eventually turned into like a castle drop, man. And there, there's the ramps. Look at that. How many players Crazy. make petards against ramps? How many players repair a ram underneath it like that? Yeah, pretty, pretty wild. Pretty wild. Don't forget this, Tristan. Remember for the rest of the tournament, how many times you're going to see that both players win their whole maps? The whole yeah. whole maps. Yeah. I mean, if it's a 4 3, you know? Yeah. It, it's, it's pretty wild and how close the series has been. So everyone has won just the whole maps. So this game was the decider. Yeah, seriously, First was. Game. This map is so cool, man. Wow. I mean, this is just so good, man. The different approaches game one, this game here. We had the boar being brought in by Yadviga, still wondering if Yadviga maybe teamed with 
or practiced with Vasco da Gama from day one because Vasco already did that. There we had the lame from Otto the Great. This was maybe the first sign from us that maybe this could be someone like MBL with the with the stealing that he's known for. Uh, this one was was really messy. Like I think both players uh, think ha had big problems Tristan? managing this yeah. map. Exactly. I, I think Tristan, this map, we not even you or me know exactly where was the key here. I, I don't. Yeah. I yeah. don't really know. You know, like well, yeah. he got the fees uh, red all the time, right? Like most of the time. So that gives him that boost and get faster. Faster up. Also, Tristan, I I don't have a lot of information about this game because my microphone in this game. I was I was more focused on the microphone. I was going to say you were <laughs> yeah. you, you were you were going bye bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was not hundred percent here. I'm very happy that after this game, it, it fixed it completely. Thanks God. Yeah, because we same. got yeah, it was a, a crazy series, and in mind that I will have missed it. It will be well. I was depressed here, but. The series were going just better from here, better and better all the time, Tristan. It was insane. Yeah. yeah. And this, this game, I mean, this game were pick, fantastic. Okay, viewers, pick your favorite game. Pick one. Was it this one? This game was insane. I mean, this was the game for me where I realized that Otto is a chaotic player. Otto is not a meta, meta player. Again, tried to steal resources, went for the tower rush. We had like eventually a sneak TC here. Um, I, it's it's so fun to look back at this, man, because it it actually was quite a long series. I almost forgot some yeah. of these moments. Yeah, yeah. Only wow. Tristan, I think the first game again has been today Bay again. Yeah, I Bay was, was a the, sick the, game. The, the, I mean, he started Bay with the lane again the whole game. I think for me, the best game was again Bay. Like yesterday was Bay, in my opinion, and again. I mean, this was very cool. Was nice, you know, but it was a lot more passive. And then all the battles was happening more here, like. At this stage of the game, right? But yeah. Bay, it was crazy from the start. I from agree. Start. You have villagers going forward. Man, like, think about this though. This game we're looking at here. To lose this, Otto went down to what, 60 pop? Otto refused to quit, even though it was over. That could have been so heartbreaking. And Otto the Great had to win oh. three more games over time, mm -hmm. had to reset his mind and get the job done anyways. That is amazing from Otto, because I, I could see players, after having all the gold there, thinking that maybe all hope was lost. This hole here, oh, Jadwiga. I mean, this yeah. this hole really slowed down the early Castle Age timing. Yeah. Trista, oh, man. Uh, and this, this as well. here he, yeah, was well. K kinda, in my opinion, was, uh, in the previous games really fast, the supremacy that he lost the castle, I think it was more important than people think. Very important, but well, yeah, that was yeah. Uh, already the previous game, and now in this one, well, uh, the Byzantines, man. I think it was really the Byzantines here, honestly. That was really powerful in that position. Yeah, and now this they, is the game. Oh this is the game you're talking yeah, about, yeah, game yeah. five. I mean, when it's two two, right? This is the game, and we got villagers going forward. We had at one point like three docks from Otto who walled in his opponent's resources. You know what I will say though. What really reminds me how good this series was is a lot of the games that players lost, it was close enough where they could have won. Like, they were in the better position at various points. Otto the Great, I think, maybe had the better position in this game. And then Yadviga said, I'm going to convert everything you have. I'm going to bombard down all your trebs and ended up taking down every single castle in the middle here. It was beautiful yeah. play. And if we think about, we were talking that in the LAM map, I mean... At this point, this is only land. So Jadwiga also in the land map, he played well, you know, like yes. because here the yes. water doesn't have any impact, you know, and he controlled everything. So whoever read this, it, it, it did a great series. And it's very sad for, for him definitely to lose in a decided game. And I don't it's know, brutal. Really yeah, it, it is absolutely yeah, brutal. brutal to to have been killed off here because Jadwiga, I wanted to see more from this player. I wanted to see this player play on and, and maybe play in some different matchups, but that's also the that's the great thing about Hidden Cup 2 is that it is brutal, right? There's no second chances. You have to make the most of every moment. Speaking of moments here, look at this. Look at this dirty dancing here with this with the siege micro. Like this is unbelievable. Really solid from both, but it was all auto with his split micro and his dancing there. And that crazy one. sequence. Yeah. That is like the, the highlight time. of yeah. someone's career right there after Hidden Cup ends. Oh my god. That pressure yeah, continued here. here. You had auto we'll the rating. Yeah. Castle will go down. And this was the final game. 
we didn't have too many highlights. I did feel like maybe Yadviga needed to be more aggressive right there. But the Spearman yeah. came out, Don't know what so it happened. was kind of complicated. What, what, what happened in this game? Because it was the, the most one-sided by far, actually. Yeah. On yeah. the whole series. I, I mean, basically, yeah. every time Yadviga went forward with scouts, the scouts died to Spears. <laughs> and then the Spears yeah, ended up true. killing villagers, too. It was like the Spears versus scouts battle actually made all the difference there. So, poof, what a series. Now, man, um, normally I, I, I was planning on passing, you know, saying goodbye to the co-caster, moving on and doing the poll. But I want you here for this because you and I have very strong opinions. Uh, viewers who are watching on Twitch, you're going to have a poll come up here for one of the players that just concluded, one of the heroes. And it is your time now to vote via the chat who you think <laughs> the heroes are. Um, now... I smile one of these, because, well, you know. Well, well, we have, you know, Yadviga? we're going to do Yadviga first. We've got a longer vote period this time. So this is the player who lost. Now, people are typing 11. I don't know if they're laughing at us, but if you typed 11 by mistake thinking it was the wrong hero, you can re-enter your, you could change your vote. Like, I could see MBL vote going down now. What do you think, man? If you had to give... Three players that Yadviga could be. Who would you pick? I will have go for for Barls, but I think Barls in the last game will play a little bit better than he did, probably. So okay. I'm now a little bit confused, but I have to say three names, right? So I'm going to go for Barls, right? Okay. Sebastian. And, well, Sebastian, I'm not sure. And honestly... Uh, I don't know, you know, because ACCM okay. will, will never resign the I way think... he did in the last one, right? Well, let me let me so... let me go then. I'm gonna say Barrels, yeah, uh, Ganji. Okay, or... it was yesterday, no? Well, I think Gan Ganji ah, and Barrels ah. are very similar to each other, and true, true. So I think it could have been Ganji or Barrels, maybe. Uh, the third one's Jordan. tough for me, but but apparently people think Jordan. So uh, maybe I mean the no. tricky thing about Jordan is it is possible he's not bringing the level as he did in the previous Hidden Cup because we don't know how much Good he's point. been training compared to others. Good point. But apparently it is the the Polish queen is the Polish <laughs> player Barrels. Okay. 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 I like that. I think that's reasonable. I, we have to see more. I think the community is somewhat on par. I do also think they're stealing that from us, man, but that's fair. So what about our winner? What about Otto the Great? Well, Sam, give, mean, me three, give me three guesses, man. <laughs> okay, I, I told you three guesses. M, B, L. <laughs> I, you know, I mean, hopefully you do. You agree with that? Huh? Okay, I gave you three. You know, so you got uh, it, man. I have to say, MBL did a great job not getting housed compared to his usual game. So that's the only thing that's in the back of my mind. Like, I could actually see a wild world where that is still ACCM. Um, yeah, for the resi for the re yeah for the resign in that game could be <laughs> for the yeah for the game he never resigned. They Beyond never resigned. that. Okay. I'm really struggling to pick anybody else here, man. <laughs> Who could send Maybe... two villages also forward like this? Sito? Maybe Sito? Sito? Oh, my Sito God. Sito likes to do that? Oh, my God. Tristan. You see? We say Sito at the same time. Okay. Also, also remember the I... capital GG? Sito says capital GG more than anybody. Maybe Sito. Okay. Uh, I mean, if we... I, I, it, it's fun to think you have a player picked out. Because if we see okay. indications it could be them later on, we'll then begin to feel very silly. Can, can you do but can I, you do Tristan for, for the future in the in the voting a change? Can you make from one to seventeen and remove the eleven? I'm annoyed, man. I think that the chat is allowed <laughs> you and me all the time. <laughs> you know? I'm I'm really okay. annoyed. Please change that, change that number, you guys. Eighty percent. Eighty percent of the community. Thinks wow. it's MBL. Second place is Sato at 6.9%. Third place is ACCM at 4.4%. So this is the most landslide victory we've had so far in any vote, any poll. Um, so maybe MBL is not so hidden, but uh, uh, what a what a fun series, man. We kind of said it all already. It, it was a blast of a series. 
uh, the best series yet in Hidden Cup Five. So happy you're here for it, man! And thank you, so thank happy, you for man. all your work. Thank you for joining. It was so much fun. Was really fun, man. I'm not telling you like a, like a joke about removing the eleven. Maybe it's good also for the voting because a lot of people put eleven randomly when they get fun. And about the season, yeah. about everything. Obviously, I apologize again for the problem with the microphone. I, finally, I got to uh, fix it. I'm so hype that you invited me here. So hype with the tournament. And good luck with the rest of the tournament. And hopefully we can cast more together. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. We love this game, guys. Thank you, Mr. Tristan. Okay. Take care. Uh, thank you, ma'am. See ya.